song I used for the intro. Alright. Hello. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hold on. I forgot to launch the game. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh my god. I got everything set up and I didn't watch the fucking game. Oh boy. We haven't even started and already in no coin moment. Fuck me. Jesus Christ. Scrag Christ. God. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck, dude! Alright, here we go. Now we're fine. Unless it doesn't pick the game up, and then we're fucked. Oh, it's doing my favorite thing where it doesn't pick the game. There we go. Alright, we're good. Everything's good. Except for music. Alright. Okay, so. It's been a while. I realized it's been like two weeks since I've done a stream. I've just been doing like video stuff in the background. I edited like a good third of the video that I was working on and then the whole fucking thing crashed and uh, I lost like two hours of progress and uh, it was a lot of I just kept I don't know why I kept forgetting to save I keep getting crashes on the campaign map I don't know what's happening it's cursed man it's really slowing down the content my boys but uh we'll get back up there but yeah today I thought we'd do a, a little bit of a scrag diplomacy campaign so what that entails would be Instead of just, you know, treating it like a normal campaign where we just occupy everything, we, um... I am Prince and Emperor. We, uh, play as your good boy, Scrag. The ceaseless. The ceaseless, uh, yeah, this guy, this handsome fella. Look at that smile, a winning smile, as they like to say. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna... just take over, like, I don't know, three provinces or some shit? Then pretty much every settlement that we take... We're just gonna give it away to someone, right? And they're gonna like us. And when because they like us, that's gonna help us, um, you know, maintain alliances, trade agreements, all that kind of stuff, have a good economy, have some homies. We'll back the big dogs, the strong dogs, and we'll just become like a diplomacy god where everybody will like us, except for the factions that dislike the other factions. Because, you know, everybody in the Warhammer world is very racist. So that's the plan. And I picked Scrag because the Ogre Kingdoms have very little aversion with any faction. Like, that's part of the reason I love the Ogre Kingdoms so much, is they're a middle ground, you know? Like, they do business with all the factions, they're good boys. Bottom feeder ogres? No, we're gonna be top dogs, we're just gonna be friendly top dogs. Also, I'm gonna... ...not have endgame scenarios on. Because I don't think we're gonna complete the campaign anyway. Or get far enough in the campaign to trigger that stuff anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, let's jump in. I'm gonna leave it on very hard, all that good shit. I'm gonna do some ogre shenanigans in the early game. Vassal Swarm Scrag. See, that's the thing. I'm hoping that uh, we can just bankroll a bunch of military allies, but I don't know who to ally with. So what I was thinking is I would just start taking shit, kind of like go over to the right, towards the empire and then maybe we can ally with loads of empire factions so we start giving territory away like we move in we kill a faction we give that territory away to make homies homie friends and we try and like i don't know diplomatize with as many factions as possible but uh, we're gonna have to like ally with factions that like us inherently or, or like other factions so if we empire if we ally with the with the uh Empire, for example, like if we beeline to like Reichland and then ally with them or beeline towards like Balthazar Gelt, we can be homies with the Goldman. And then we can start giving territory to all the Empire. And then all the Empire is going to love us, right? And then we can help uh, the Order Tide kind of take over the map. So or. Like everything yeah. In the great oh, he's such a. Oh, God. He's such a charismatic little fella. So we got ourselves a hunter. God, I haven't played a scrag campaign in a hot minute. I miss this. I miss my ogres. I miss streaming my ogres in all nothing but chaos draws for weeks. I do miss my boys. Scrag at the function. 
take Skaven Blight. We could, we could in theory move down here and sort of kill the Skaven, or we could move over into the desert and uh, start giving that territory away. My axe thirsts for war. Damn, this is a hard army out the gate. Why do, do these factions count as like diplomacy? Strength rank 276. Is that because they don't own any land? I've never really thought about that. Anyway, so what I was thinking is there's a faction over here, right? Called the Feastmaster Ogres. Now, they're just called Feastmaster. And, or the Feastmasters, whatever. But uh, in the lore, the Feastmasters are actually a faction of ogres that had, like, the best cooking. Because what they did is they raided um, the, the, the Hobbit guys, the Hofflings. They raided uh, the Hofflings in Hotchlin and stole a bunch of Hofflings and then forced them to cook for the ogres. So they have, like, the best cooks, and they basically treat them like Noblars, I found out. So that's what the Feastmaster tribe is. They're led by this guy, uh, Blout Feetma Feastmaster, who's, like, this big, stinky cookman. So what I'm thinking is maybe we, like, ally with the ogres, and then we kill the Savage Orcs, and then give their territory to the ogres. And then we give the territory up here to the, to the, uh, the, the, the dwarves. And then... We kill the vampires, maybe, and give the vampire territory to the empire. Something like that, right? Big brain? I know, ogre big brain make for good cooking, take hobbit hairy feet. Poor hobbits? What do you mean poor hobbits? That would be like such a bad, you know, okay, I was gonna say that'd be a good job, but no, that would be a terrible job. Working for ogres that could eat you at any minute. You just gotta distract them with food, though. That's the thing. You gotta make them better food. You gotta prove that... That's because... Because ogre brains work on, like, a food context. They're smart enough to, the, to value money, though. All they care about is money and food. They're like the... I, they're like people. They're like me. That's, like, all I care about shit about, really, is money and food. <laughs> it's the two most f important things in life, really. Like, no matter who you are. Like, food... Even if you're vegan and you, you're you not materialistic. Like, money is still important. You need money and you need food. Those are two things that you need, and that's what the ogres have got locked down, right? Adokoi, can you get them to take a bloody hand settlement? They can't be gifted. Ooh, that's a good point. Are they at war with anybody, though? Who are they at war with? Only. Uh, no one. They are not at war with anybody. That's a great point. Maybe we could just, like, leave a an unoccupied settlement, like we raise Bitterstone Mine. We wait for them to take Bitterstone Mine and move in, and then we give them like Ekron and the Dragonhorn Mines and the Stone Mine Tower, because we don't give a fuck about land. That's not the point of this campaign. Anyway, in the meantime, let's wipe out... Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh... Let's save our little province here. Ooh, we can get dual weapons right out the gate. That's good. I'm probably going to replace this building, though, when we get it to, like, Tier 2, when we occupy the whole province, because I want Gorgers as soon as possible, because they start off with 275. God, Gorgers are so bad, though. This might be a good way to, like, show how bad gorges are, though, for this campaign. I'm gonna uh, prioritize growth, because nothing it like pulls. a good gr uh, girthy ogre growth. Currency can be exchanged for goods and services. A <laughs> good Simpsons reference I there. The um, I'm gonna go bloody raw for that blood and raw, I mean. Get that good melee attack bonus. What is a Warhammer? Uh, it's a video game. And it's licensed by some people that are kind of douches. Um, yeah. Good series, though. Adokoi. Ally war coordination. Ooh. That might work, but we're not going to be allies with them until they've taken a settlement. Because until we offer them a settlement, they're not really going to like us very much. I suggest killing the tree humpers and turn it to an ogre campground. The tree humpers? The tree humpers. Oh, the wood elves? Maybe. I feel like Wood Elf territory is going to be very unusable for the Ogres, though. You know what I mean? And that's usually pretty bad. Adoka, show Gorger feet, coward? Okay. Well, I'll, when we get to a fight, remind me. There's no, there's no feet on display right now. Uh, what do we... Okay, I'm actually gonna go Maw Tooth for a change instead of. I usually I go like Healer for the Casualty Replenishment Rate, which is, you know, honestly, actually way more useful. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it's so much better. <laughs> Never mind. 
Uh... Oh, but I am gonna go stimulate growth for the boy. Because this is passive. Ooh, 10 growth. Ooh, 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 ooh. My Kupana rights. Damn knife ears. There is some, like, green skin... Ah, medium casualties suck my whole giant scrag related ass. I'm not suffering medium casualties on this. We're, we're, we've got two units of gorgers, some fucking saber cats, we got dual weapons. Like, why on earth would this be a. Like, whatever. Classic Warhammer auto resolve bullshit. Hey, first live I caught ever. Hey, what up, boys? What up, my dude? What up, my guy? Hope you like it. Master Seeker. Let's get the Scraggy in. The gorgers around the the flanks. The quarry is mine. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right. We got the hill advantage. I like this map. Some like raised plateaus here to shoot off of. A little bit of a what is this? Oh, it's like a mine. This is the. I wish more. Si okay, here's a, a middle ground that. Uh, like, tell me if you guys agree with this. I think they should make minor settlement battles have terrain. Like instead of, it's a good middle ground, right? Because people don't like minor settlement battles or don't like too many minor settlement battles, right? So change it so that a level two encampment adds in minor settlement battles instead of a level three encampment. So you get a lot of them if you intend on building. Uh, on, on, if you build garrison buildings, but then make regular ones have like inclement terrain. So like choke points, impassable buildings, like plateaus to shoot off of, stuff like that. That'd be way better, because this works like super well. Because if you had artillery, you could get like artillery up on these little plateaus, shoot down at them, all that good shit. That would be pog. Today, Scrag joins the Order Tide. Maybe we'll see who we can ally with. I like the idea of joining the Order Tide, but at the same time, like I don't know, the Empire are kind of mid. It would be kind of lore-ish, accurate-ish, sort of. We'll see. Oh no, you don't. Let's just fucking rush him. Oh, you were not shooting my scrag, you dirty man. They what? Get into the spars. Dogpile him. Good stuff. Man Eater Pistols plus Greatswords is a, is a cool look. Man Eater Pistols with Greatswords? That would be pretty cool. It'd be cool if like, they just... Like, that would be a nice way to expand the, uh, the Man Eaters. Like if you could choose their weapons and their loadout and stuff. Really customize your uh, your views. I would love that. The more command. Medium casualties. Medium casualties. Medium casualties. Okay, game. Okay, game. Get in there. Come on, Scraggy. God, Scraggy's so much better than than Greasus. It's not even funny. 645 weapon strength with this. With the okay, a 50% buff, but 53 speed even while he's dragging that fucking cauldron. And Greasus is like, I know he's on a, his Mario Kart, but still. There's no excuse for his terrible, terrible lack of speed. Oh, uh, uh, 720 weapon struck my boy. Medical, customizable man eater hero slash lore. Oh, dude, it would be so good. Gold flag man eater and then a customizable man eater uh, lord, generic lord as well. But then, like, what would be the point of me recruiting a tyrant? You know? You have to make tyrants worth it. Maybe make man eaters not have any legendary titles, just to make them, you know, offset them a little bit. Easy clap, easy clap, easy clap, easy clap, easy clap. Easy clap. 
Elgoy, counterpoint, Scrag is ugly. So? What's you saying being ugly invalidates people? That's bull- that- come on, did you learn anything from, uh... Uh, being ugly your whole life, dude? Fuck. Have some empathy. <laughs> I- okay, who cares if he's ugly? He's got charisma and a winning smile, and I think that's more important. Looks are overrated, dude. I would know as a skinny scrag. Uh, ugh. Combine the boys, recruit more dual weps. Dual weps are great. I've been sort of going, uh, leaning more towards uh, Iron Fist though. Because, uh, who the fuck was it? Um, God damn it. Uh, Flying Taco. Flying Taco uh, made an excellent point. Yeah. In that the only difference between the regular bulls and the dual weapons is that the dual weapons have the, um, the 12 bonus for us infantry, right? Other than that, they're exactly the same. They even have the same amount of weapon strength and stuff. So you're paying a premium of like 30 gold per unit for like a little bit of what, like, man, like, you know, and uh, bonus versus infantry, which I would argue is still worth it, but maybe not for that amount. But if you, the, the, but the Iron Fists are getting a hell of a lot of weapon strength and 10 more armor and uh, missile resistance. So Iron Fists are genuinely worth it. And I never really consider that. I never recruit them. But they are worth it. They totally are worth it. That burp? Yeah, my bad. I know that a lot of people are bothered by burps. I didn't realize people were bothered by them. I'm so not bothered by people belching that it just didn't even occur to me that people might be uncomfortable with belching. But I keep getting comments about it. I'm like, okay, maybe I should scale it back. But it, it, it comes so naturally to me, dude. I don't even think about it. Thank you for this gift. It's natural. Alright, we'll go straight for Akendorf. Uh... Occupy this area. Okay, how allied with these guys though are they to the Because I feel like I feel like if we attack the Barak uh Barakvar dwarves, the the um the Karakadrin dwarves are gonna get all salty up in their dwarf ass little bussies. Ooh, not aggression pact. Um I'm actually not gonna go for a non-aggression pack because I think that attacking the greenskins might be a better idea than allying with them. Be your true self, Okoy? Yeah. I don't, if you have, if you're not even, if you can't handle belches, there's no way you, you're gonna enjoy my content. If you can't even listen to somebody belch, I hate them, they're gross. Oh, Adam, my guy. Burping and farting is sexy for an ogre, gross. Okay, falling would be too much. I've said this before. If I started ripping ass on stream, then I would understand if people were grossed out. But but belching? Like what? Fart in the mic? <laughs> no, that would be too far. I would actually gross myself out. I have a pretty strong constitution, but I, if somebody was ripping ass in the mic, I just, oh God. You feel like you can smell it? All right, a lot of people are tuning out. More bulls. Now I'm actually, you know what? Well, I'm gonna continue the, the the mix of the the iron fists and the dual webs. And we'll keep the gut knobs just for all the resolve. Wait, get the growth up. How, long, how many turns would it take? One more turn. We're getting 88 per turn, and we need what? 100? 125. Oh, that's nothing, dude. We're gonna soar to tier three. Get fucked on. But okay, I think about... Think about how burps will affect LeBron's legacy. What does this LeBron's legacy fucking mean? LeBron's legacy meme. How does this affect LeBron's legacy? It's a copy pasta and a spam comment found on TikTok that is used to... Uh, ask how a video or a piece of content often unrelated to LeBron James will affect his legacy. Which is inspired from... July 2022, I don't know, some fucking TikTok meme. Okay. Some <laughs> some ridiculous meme based on LeBron and Fortnite, I guess. Oh, the internet is interesting. Have you seen the video farting on my roommate's door? Yes, I've used it in videos. <laughs> I've, used, I've literally used it in in videos. I used it in my, uh, my Nurgle um, 
my uh, Nurgle hero, plague hero guys. Farting on my roommate's door. <laughs> There's no way he was in that room. By the way, I refuse to believe. What the fuck happened? What? Wait, what happened to the sound? What? Hold on, can, can you guys hear the sound? What? Can you guys hear the in-game sound? I can't hear anything. What the fuck? Uh... What the fuck? Did I mute it? No, what the fuck? Does anybody else get this as a bug sometimes? What the fuck? No, all my sound is fine. My sound is like totally fine. What the hell happened? Pyrrhic victory, my balls, dude. Hold on. I'm a quick save and restart the game. That is wild. What the fuck? What on earth is happening? I've never had that. Let's relaunch. Interesting. Huh. I never had that bug before. Or not in a long, long time. I remember it happening in Warhammer 2, I think. A lot. Just another Okoi stream? Yeah, I guess. OBS bug? Maybe, but I can't hear it. I I, I can't hear it in-game or in OBS. Like, it doesn't matter that it's in OBS. The fuck? There we go, it's back. What the hell? Okay, Warhammer 3. Okay, CA. Adoka, just make the sound effects yourself. Oh, that would have been a good bit. <laughs> that would have been yes, such a good bit. Yes, my straggly boy, don't deep in that mall. Oh, Jesus. Prof Von Boo with a $2 donor. Yes, my scraggly boy, don't deep in that mall. <laughs> oh my god, the mall. I see. Thank you for the donor, my dude. Yeah, the sound's back. Oh, well, we have to play this. We absolutely just have to play this. I forgot to give myself um, charge bonus buffs for fat mass. You know what would be really funny? If there's somebody made a mod where you can add more than five meat on to increase the buff by, by more and more and more and more. Imagine if you did this fight, but you put in like a hundred meat and you had a hundred percent more speed, a hundred percent more more mass, a hundred percent more charge bonus. Because your guys are just so full of meat. Please, CA, please. Unlimited meat caps for my ogres. Uh, I'm gonna sneak my gorgers over into the fort wall, and then we'll just attack it on this side. Uh. All right, they always fall for this, right? You put your guys over here, look a little bit to the left, like, oh, I'm, I'm so stupid. Oh, I'm gonna attack you right here, and then you move them. Every, works every time. Works 30% of the time, every time. I forget the quote. Then you just move all your boys over here, and you're good. Get your ogies to smash down the walls because I always forget that's a thing. And then... And now they've been bamboozled. They didn't get like a single kill. Undefended section of the wall. Classic. Cool, we're taking a little bit of casualties though. Run, Scrag! God, he's so fucking... <laughs> it's a little intimidating, actually. Smash down the wall. What up, Okai? What up, B? What up with you? Just doing some classic Scrag diplomacy gameplay. We'll get him on the gate over here. Everybody in, everybody in. Go, 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 go. God, these fucking motherfuckers are huge. You ever really think about the fact that ogres are like what? 
10 to 12 feet tall, right? They are massive. And then the, the saber tusks are like waist height with them. So these are at least six foot tall saber tusks. They should be way stronger than they are. Girthquake. The girth. Man. I want to put up like a big straw poll to find out who the most popular faction is in Warhammer 3 still. Or just like what the most popular factions are even to date. I want to see if like the Warriors of Chaos being involved, has that like, you know, made anybody switch over? I definitely love the Warriors of Chaos. I think they play extremely fun. They've definitely been, I've been, they've been making me switch for sure a little bit. I love their, their, their base of diplomacy. I love the way that they work. I love having vassals. I don't call it Empire. It's always Empire. Yeah. Yeah. Probably Empire Greenskins. Greenskins? Nah, I was thinking like Empire and then like Corn and and shit would be up there. Corn. Corn uh, and Empire are going to be like number one because they're the most basic responses. Dwarves maybe would be up there. Maybe not now though because the dwarves are kind of mid currently. See, this is, what, this is what I mean. I'd be curious. I know it's going to be Empire because people are basic. You know, it's going to be Empire, obviously. Like, no shit. Oh, was that a trap? Did I fucking bomb a trap? And we threw. Let's fast forward through this. This is an easy win. Empire couldn't defend themselves. They tried. You're done, Zo. I thought I killed the Lord by bombing their shit there. I don't know, do you do you like Sigvald? Yeah, he's he's pretty hot. He's a hot piece of uh, chaos ass. He's a cool fella. Yeah, he's all right. I, I think his campaign with aspiring champions is pretty good. I, uh, his spawn location is kind of mid. Yeah, I don't mind him. Siggy's model could do with a bit of an up update though. Like it's got that Warhammer 1 stank to it, you know? It could do with a, a visual update. But uh yeah, I like I like him. I'd kiss him. We capped it. Good shit. Where's the rest of their army? Oh. What the fuck? Oh shit, because of the new AI. Wow, that's weird. I am so used to the old Warhammer 3 AI for siege defenses. The enemy never ever positioned themselves this far back. Obviously, they've deployed a bunch of people at their victory location so that I have to go through like the whole city. That's so weird. I'm used to them just kind of being like half-assing it, you know? They all just kind of stick their dudes in the middle and then you, you, you don't, they don't take advantage of... God, this fucking map's huge. They never take advantage of it. I'm glad that's starting to change a little bit. Let's get in there. I would say it leads to some unnecessarily long sieges, but at the same time, I don't hate it. Find a meal. Time to ship Sigvald and Okoy. Oh, man. I'm more of an ogre guy. I like Norska. Good. I'm glad some people like him. Okay, at Okoy, can you explain this campaign? Uh, yeah, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a minimal amount of ca uh, of territory, relying exclusive, well, almost exclusively on camps for our income and giving away almost all of our settlements uh, for diplomatic gain and for to make a bunch of crazy military alliances with a bunch of factions. So we're basically, instead of taking a bunch of territory, we're just going to be giving all of our territory away and then focusing on camps. And also, I went with the ogres because they can get the majority of their income from camps and also... Uh, I thought it'd be an interesting take on a regular campaign. Kind of like, you know, just diplomacy heavy, right? Like, instead of do a traditional campaign where you're just trying to take territory and blah, blah, blah. Like, we're going to be going for allies. That's going to be kind of like the goal. More alliances. More friendly. Hence friendly ogre. I'm just realizing this is some reused assets. Man, see how you really cleverly reuses a lot of stuff. It's, it's big Okoy. I'm not passed out when he's live. Woo. Good stuff. I always stream at like pretty much the same times, or at least I try to be consistent with my stream times. Ogre Wallbands mode? Essentially. I wish the Ogres had um some uh, heavy diplo- like something in the research tree which, it, which like increases your diplomatic relations with all factions by like 30 or something. Just something huge, you know what I mean? 
maybe you, it, it has like a downside like um upkeep from all like uh, income from all settlements reduced by like 10% but your diplomatic with all diplomatic relations with all factions goes up a lot by like 30 30 or something like that like base just to completely get rid of um diplomatic aversion something cool like that would be great like just because then you can you can avoid getting it if you don't want to bother with like diplomacy but at the same time you could go for like a super diplomacy heavy campaign i'd like to see um some research benefits and like stuff for factions that facilitate completely new campaign styles just to really freshen up your campaigns, you know? Adekoi, what are your thoughts on thoughts? Um, head empty, doomstacks only, ogre brain, um, etc, etc. Okay, I feel like a lot of people would go for that. Yeah, I mean, probably not. I would. <laughs> like, I, I think that'd be great. Diplomacy, the problem is diplomacy has like, uh... It only goes so far, and like a lot of your victory conditions don't support having allies, which I think kind of sucks. Get in there! Get the boys in there! Go, 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 Gorgers! Oh, those fat ogre charges! Get in there. Where's my Scraggy? Get him off that butt to the mines. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Gorger feet. Oh, they have such nasty feet. Oh, my God. Oh. Bro, wash your feet. Holy shit. I, don't know, I personally love stuff like that, which is more Im immersion and fun rather than trying super hard in a single player game. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. That's why I find Cold Campaigns so like fun because you actually get like a dynamic of having allies and support and stuff like that. It's why I, I, I really enjoy um, uh, Warriors of Chaos campaigns, right? Because they they it feels completely different. Like no other faction in the game has uh the, like a reliance on vassals and vassal gameplay except maybe um shit what's they what are they called slanesh slanesh benefit from having vassals but even then because you're chaos if you're not vassalizing like nolska factions everybody fucking hates you i know it's kind of the same with warriors of chaos too because you're a chaos faction so aversion takes its toll but at the same time i just like having allies and stuff you know what i mean i, I wish there would be something like um a technology that you could research as the Empire that automatically and instantly makes every single Empire faction uh, like, you know, Reichland and Hochland and and Middenland and Middenheim and all whatever the wait, I can forget what they're called um, but like all of the Empire factions immediately become defensive allies so they become like a big super alliance because that would stop because right now they just get absolutely bowled over by every other faction I would love to see them like bend together in kind of like a or like they, they, it gives all of those factions like trade agreements, non-aggression pacts, and you know something beneficial for all of them. Just to really like, I don't know. I just want to see some more like tweaked campaigns that isn't like. I know it's total war, but I would love to see alliances and vassals and more trade like stuff going on between factions that isn't just my like just everybody fight everybody. Or Ogre mercenary slash man to roleplay stream only launch was by joining another into other people's worlds for coin thoughts yeah no that'd be awesome that's the, the part of what i love about the ogre kingdoms is i wish they had like a campaign goal that supported that ideal that they're all they really give a shit about is food and like money right so maybe there's like a more ogre based victory condition where it's like your aim isn't to conquer you know name cities across the map right it's maybe it's like unify all the ogre kingdoms by either military alliance killing them or confederating them right uh that should be your goal as grisus to just confederate all of the ogre kingdoms or like or oh, whatever the fuck which is why i think he should have a um mechanic where he after he oh fuck Sigma forbids this. oh man velmir gossier what the hell matorka oh <sighs> You bitch. Beasts. What do you get as beasts? Amber Spear? Is that... What's what's the starter spell for the lore of... um For the Slaughtermasters? I know it's not Transformation of Kadant. It's a Wisson's Wild Form, isn't it? God damn it. Oh, man. 
Do you get the fuck out of here with this trait? Plus three charge bonus? Ed uh, Edoka, you should try Vlad. You can get a, in total, plus 80 relations with the Empire from tech, etc. Oh, really? That'd be fucking cool. My brother in Sigmar, 19 Gorgers Doomstack, when? I will show you in this campaign why Gorgers are super kind of mid and not that good and kind of bad. Flock of Doom? It's Flock of Doom. Ooh. Okay, we'll get a tactician there just to help help defend. That's kind of good. I don't think he'll attack just because like... Oh, he will attack. Yeah, we're fucked in terms of garrison. Yeah, he's going to attack for sure. Ooh, Flock of Doom. Okay, big brain. Big brain, boys. Nice. Alright, we delete this. Build up our level 3, hopefully pretty soon. Get our other building. I'm going to start deleting units that I don't give a fuck about. Uh, I'm going to keep a hold of the Saber Tusks, actually, because we have a Hunter, and I might go down that route because we never recruit that kind of shit anyway. So maybe upkeep minus 12%. I wish this was more than 12%. Because, oh, does this stack? Hold on, does, does rolling free stack, or is that like a one-time thing? Could you, in theory, have a super powerful and also free Saber Tusk tech stack if you, like, recruit a shit ton of uh, hunters, like five of them? You get a pretty much free stack when you combine it with the blue line. Does anybody know if these stack? I mean, I don't think they will, actually, just based on the fact that if you could have... No, they're all one-time buffs. These could totally stack because they're not gonna... It's not like plus three charge bonus together. Like, because you're getting... This is the only one that would be beneficial to stack. Stacks, I think? Dude, that would be cool. Then maybe we go for that. Just recruit a fuck ton of hunters. Pretty sure they stack. Ooh. 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 Nah, I still want the Gorger stack, man. I, I want that Gorger bullshit. Alright. Uh, whirling stump blades. Uh, reader of portents. Uh, wait, doesn't... Hold on. Doesn't... Uh, Scrag get a diplomatic relations with all factions thing? Yes! Diplomatic relations plus 20 with all factions. Dude, see, I told you. I knew there would be a reason to play Scrag alongside. So we get the, the plus 8 campaign movement range, another 20 diplomatic relations with, with all factions. And that'll tie into this this uh, this campaign super well. Imagine, I'm telling you, man. It's that winning smile. This man rocks up. Scrag the Slaughter, the World Swallower, rocks up with his ridiculous movement range and his beautiful grinning smile. How could you say no? He says jump. He says alliance. You say when? You say sure thing, dude. Charge bonus 40% during sieges. Weird. Lizard strangler, gate crusher, death cheater. Oh, death cheater is so good. Damage resistance 90% for 12 seconds when below 25% hit points. Actually, that's not that good. For 12 seconds? What's that for? To stop you dying for 12 seconds? Oh man, that's super underwhelming. Lose a battle and survive. Wall Crusher Gar. That's actually a cool name. Um. Must yeah, delete the Ogairs. Filter in more of the slightly better variants. 160. What the fuck? Is that more expensive than it was? Hold on, did they get more expensive? I could have sworn they were cheaper than 160. Oh, supply lines. The, oh, the very fun mechanic of supply lines, I forgot. I don't know, Scrag got a great dental plan. He do, he do have... Nah, his teeth are fucking... I mean, all things considered, he has pretty solid teeth. Very British. That's what I like to call the cla uh, uh, the classic British grin. I am also British. I just want to point that out. Adokoi, make a stonehorn doomstack and just keep it in encamp stance around Castle Drakenhof. Ew. No. If the uh, if the Gorger doomstack turns out to be as bad as I remember it being, then um, we will do that. But I think Gorgers should be given their uh, entity unit sides back. And if they're not going to be given their entity unit sides back, they should be given a buff to melee defense and a buff to their uh, HP to bring them in line. Also, they should get a slight 
Uh, oh wait, 20 bonus for infantry is actually whack. Holy crap. That's huge. Because that, that puts them up to like 80 uh, melee attack almost. 75 uh, melee attack. Okay, yeah, I think their damage is fine. Maybe bring it up a little bit. Uh, if you actually could, like look at it, 100 weapon strength isn't that good. Considering uh, dual weapon bulls have 90. And considering gorgers are not cheap and also... Either, I think they do one of two things with Gorgers. They either put up their weapon strength even more, back up to the point where they were extremely damaging before they were nerfed, or they put their uh, model count up again and their their health a little bit. Something like that, because right now they're so squishy, it's not even funny. Okay, do you know the, um, the videos of pets sniffing at their owner's feet and almost barfing? That's how I imagine what happens when Scrag enters the room. Oh God, like, he's, like he smells so bad you're just retching immediately. I feel like Scrag- how does Scrag even shampoo his- his body, you know? If you really think about it, like how does he- he can't- how does he even clean himself? He can't, right? Like what- like how would that even work? With the blade stumps? He's ex he- he would be a master of exfoliation. Decisive defeat with high casualties. Uh, okay, we can flip this maybe. Let's give it a try. We got, uh, walls? No, we fucking don't. God damn it. I don't want to lose my territory back in the in the thing. Maybe we can get a, a couple of good casts of um of our uh, of our spell off and get make this work. Oh, pistoliers are gonna be a pain in the ass. I stand by pistoliers being a very strong unit. 360 degree fire, fire while moving. They have funny hats. What's not to like? Adokar, the Noblars clean him. Ew! <laughs> oh, imagine that. What a job. Imagine being the guy who has to get up in, um, all up in Scrag's dirty scrum and clean that shit. What a job, dude. Oh my god. Because you know Scrag is not wiping. You know that Scrag is not wiping for a fucking second. Okay, how about this? We bait him in. Um,. Somewhere here, we bait him in here. Fresh Keep our boys in the trees, like this. They come in like idiots, like, like la la la, right over here in this little thingy. They attack our nobbies. We run around and we crush them. We smash them in their scrum. It's not worth the 80% reduction, we just need to get into their range and then use a lot of Flock of Doom. So maybe we kite them over to the little, like, like here. Because then they'll be together, they'll be forced in. Alright, that's the plan. Maybe it'll work, maybe not. We can go take the settlement back, even if it no, that doesn't work, whatever. Ogre ambush time, let him cook. Ah, I see what you did there. Scrag got his name because the clumps of hair... Uh, ew, clumps of hair and poo he grows out of his gooch is... A a scrag. What are you talking about? That is nasty, dude. That is so fucking gross. Now, fucking pistol ears. Bruh. Bruh, get out of here with your pistol ears. Uh, they're so good, too. They're so unequivocally very good. I was hoping we had at least, uh, like, some trappers at least. Wait, they're not pushing us. Oh, I'm gonna ambush the hell out of these guys. Don't discover my ogre bulls. Don't discover my bulls. Run, boys! Run, nobbies! Pull them into the trees. Slow them down. Bait them. G give them the good bait and switch. So we bait them out. Really get them over to the into the trees, right? Waste their ammunition in the trees, also. Keep pushing away. Like this. Just be keep baiting them. Oh, uh, we're gonna sandwich these boys so good. They haven't killed a single Nobler. Maybe Pistoliers aren't as good as I remember. Dude, look at them not even push. Oh, they're pushing. Never mind. And now we fuck them. Oh, we just fuck them so good. Oh, so good. You'll love it. Now we turn on them. Oh, easy. Get Scrag in there, they're fucking dead. Morons, fools! And they're gone. 
the shit. Ah, oh, man, we were close to the boulder. That kind of sucks. I want to push them over to the back to the lines over here. Make sure they don't see our ogres. Why are we not stealth? There we go. Are we going to be exhausted? Winded? And oh, we're not too bad. Okay, Scrag had to learn how to jelk with his hooks. Don't make fun of him. It has been hard. Dude. Don't bring up jelking in my chat again. God damn it. So gross. If you don't know what jelking is, Google it right now. Because I had to, live on stream. And okay, there's a special Noblar full of shampoo that gets squeezed like a tube of goo... Of go -gurt. <laughs> What? Oh, man. There's a, there's a, a Noblar specially dedicated to brewing shampoo for the ogres. That's kind of adorable. And, and disgusting. Alright, let's uh, completely just cream these swordsmen. Let's get a uh, flock of doom down on all of these simultaneously. Come on. No, do, do your cast. Why are you moving? Oh my god, what is the range on that? Jesus Christ, that is short. Flock of doom, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Let's just keep wasting their time. Let's just keep wasting their time. Flock of doom spam. Come on, Rogers. Come on. Anakoi, the chant is plummeting into the darkest depths of degeneracy right now. Welcome to the Okoi stream. And welcome to every single stream I've ever done. <laughs> It's not uncommon. Oh shit, okay, that's gonna lose us the fight. We gotta get down there now. Get him to the back. Nice. Get another cast in. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Come on. We got this. We've absolutely got this, come on. Bruh, easy, easy, easy clap, easy clap. Come on, Noblos, hold on. You got this. You got these little boys. You got this, tiny homies. We stand Noblos out here. How many smegma Noblos does Scrag go through a month? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it really is devolving, actually. That's, that's truly disgusting. Come on, we can get all of them. There we go. Nice. That is truly fair. Me. It means me. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, because I fast forwarded it. Wow, how much damage have we done? 11,000. Actually, yeah, that's good. Never mind. I was gonna say that that's, they're, these, they're terrible, but <laughs> that's actually pretty good. We got this, we got this, we got this. We just need to get him broken. Would love an army ability right about now. Okay, our Noblas are doing a great job. They're still broken, they're not shattered yet. We don't want them to come back. We really don't want these crossbowmen to come back. Alright, that's enough, that's enough. There we go. Oh uh, no, the Nobbies are running away, that's not good! Get our spell down again. Alright, we're losing a little bit in the middle here. We can come back. Let's get our... We need to make sure we go and duke it out with their lord. No, not good. Come on, get back over here. Fuck that Empire Lord up. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, don't knock him over, no, kill him. Okay, I'm saving my winds of magic for more flux of doom. Wait, what if we get a, 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 a fat little buff off on our fellas, though? Wisdom Dwarfon is very cheap. One more cast down. Get our ogres into the back lines to break them and we win! Woo! Good old ogres. Hell yeah. Empire weak, ogres strong. Ape together strong. Ugh. Ogre together strong. Have we finished off this boy?
Actually, should we finish him off? Because I don't think we're going to be able to kill their whole army here. I'm not going to be able to chase him down. So maybe we just weaken this guy and then we leave him. Yeah, good shit. If you leave him alive, he'll be deplenished and it'll take him a long time to replenish. And because they attacked us, they're not going to lose all of their shit. So we try and we just take out as many as possible. <laughs> all right, heroic victory. That's what I'm talking about. Was that really heroic? It did say decisive defeat. Dude, Wiston's wild form. Oh my god, 21,000 damage and 1,500 value. Wiston's wild form had goaded. Do you remember how fucking OP that spell used to be? I think it was Wiston's... It, not Wiston's wild form. Uh, Flock of Doom. Do you remember how OP Flock of Doom was when the Beastmen were added? You could just destroy units with what, like a single un... On uh, overcasted use. God, I love monstrous infantry, dude. We got so much value out of them. Uh, I'll take the money. Wait, is he sieging us? What? It fucked. What happened there? Weird. Oh, the terrifying mask of E. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade Flock of Doom. Wait, what is all this? No, that's fine. We don't need him anymore, we're good. Let's, okay, here's the move. Do we start attacking the dwarves or do we start attacking the uh, border princes? Them's the questions. Out of course, the rest of the stream, no ogres, only noblars, saber tusks, gorgers, and giants. Giants? I have been meaning to recruit more giants though for the for the um the ogies because they've been you know the, 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 I think they should have more missile resistance than they currently have. I think ogre kingdoms og uh, giants should have like thirty or forty percent missile resistance just to actually make them useful, and they should do extra damage versus walls. Kind of like a siege giant. That's kind of like what I wanted for a siege giant though, to be honest, from the, for the cast walls. Friends, friend the princes eat the others at Okoye. Eh, we're, they, pro they don't like us very much. I don't think it's going to be that valuable yes. to ally with the border princes. Yeah, look, military actions against them, negative 78. What we need is them to leave us the hell alone we're while we happy. jaunt, well, while we jaunt over into uh, either killing the purple Dwarves. My axe Barrack for is a walled settlement. That's not great. A lot of those of guys to deal with. Maybe we take on the dwarves wolf. after we've built the ourselves a. Uh. Gorger cave. Gorgers are amazing against dwarves. The, the bonus versus infantry, of which dwarves are pretty much all infantry. No cavalry, almost no large units of any kind. Um. Everything that you're going to be fighting against the dwarves is going to be infantry. So armor piercing anti-infantry is amazing. Ogre giants are the best giants. God dang. Uh, og uh, okay, ogres have healing. No other giant faction has healing spells. That's a good point. Are you sure about that? Yeah, I think you're right. That's part of the reason I like ogres, though. Another reason I like ogres. Healing magic. It's the best magic. Just damage spells and healing magic. Uh... Fuck, did we go growth? Just bankroll growth. 40 growth out the gate. Another 30. Yeah. The sooner we get that building, the better. Man, I need to get that cat cap sword. My cat's been sitting on me a lot lately. Nurgle warriors? Nurgle? Oh, yeah, Nurgle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nurgle giants also get regen. Okay, Festus has insane healing. Yeah, dude. Festus is nuts. Festus is a good boy. Probably my favorite of the uh, Warriors of Chaos for sure. Oh man, what do we do though? I'm a, see, this is where I'm torn. I'm a little, I'm a little bit indecisive. Maybe we leave the dwarves alone right now. They only have negative 25 aversion. Or we could kill the Forest of Gloom, give the Forest of Gloom to the purple guys so that they like us a lot. Because this is a whole separate province. So what if we... Uh, can we win this? I don't have a lot of magic or good units for taking these guys out. They have probably have a ridiculous garrison. Orc, 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 orcs. 
uh, goblins, archers, trolls, another 16 out of 20 banner with spiders, snorkel, snorkel, all weirdy, and then a reinforcing army. I don't think we're gonna be able to, uh, huh. Hmm. Yeah, all right, how about this? We will just go and beeline straight for the orcs. We'll wipe out Bereg, Dwezbeg, Doc Karaz, give them, give Doc Karaz to the purple guys so that they like us. Then we'll move down, wipe out the uh, savage orcs. We don't have to worry about armor piercing. Oh, we can get a cramp down. That's what I'm talking about. Bam. Camp the boy, turn four. I think I forgot I could apply to turn earlier, but that's fine. Camp one, sorted. We'll go for growth, obviously. Then we go for money. We'll recruit some more dual weapies. Wait. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm not going to recruit from the camp, though. That's fine. All right. We have enough shield boys. I'm going to go for dual weps only. I'm going to delete the noblars just to get a little bit more money. Noblars are very expensive. I think that they should reduce the price, the upkeep cost of noblars to like very, very cheap. Because uh, the only, I think the only reason that they're as expensive as they are, though, is because eventually you get scrap collectors. So upkeep is reduced by 50% for all of them. Maybe that's why. Because if you if they cost like 20 like Skaven Slaves, and then you um, got 50% upkeep production, they would be free, pretty much. I don't quite ally with the trolls so you can get hobgobs. Dude, they're so far away. Maybe if this campaign goes on long enough to do that, but I'm gonna focus on just getting swole, wipe out the greenies, um, wipe out the rest of the greenies. Hopefully we can we can raise the settlement here. The Feastmasters will take it. We give all this territory to the Feastmasters. We give Doc Karaz and uh, Barag Dwaz back to these guys so that they like us. And then we'll have a lot of allies around here. The dwarves over here should like us because we've been allied with these other dwarves. And then they shouldn't dislike us because they shouldn't like the ogre, dislike the ogre kingdoms too much. Adokoi, do you have a VODs channel? Uh, no, you just watch the, um, the streams. They, they're uploaded to my, uh, a VODs channel. You mean, like, of my streams? The vid, the, the whole stream is just uploaded. I don't do, uh, uh, like, highlights, though. I, I've been waiting until the channel gets bigger so I can hire somebody to do that. So I'm gonna delete this just to save us some upkeep. Like 120 per turn, yep. Alright. Yeah, if you mean like videos, yeah, I have a whole channel of videos. Uh, did an update for the ogres come, or did you just want to play him at Okoy? Okay. Yeah, I, I just thought Scrag would be the be absolute best candidate for a dip diplomacy like playthrough. Alright, this is a big enough army to deal with greenskins. Hey, faction encounter feastmasters. How do they feel about us right now? Uh, three turns, and then we could immediately get a cauldron tower, but it's not going to matter because we're not going to be there. Let's just get them to two, then this to three. Um, I'm worried we're going to get attacked again, but it's fine. We're still making a K a turn. we got a good little army here to deal with the greenskins. Lots of anti-infantry. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Smile, Okoy. Uh, we, Scrag can do all the smiling for me. With that... Hot, hot grin. Throw a face in my honor. Oh, come on, dude. See. I really do not like how, how much. I, I might as well have taken the goddamn my fucking, like. In charge. I might as well have taken the, uh, the hit to diplomacy, just going through the, the, uh, the Barrack Vaught Dwarves territory. The amount of time it takes you to get through territory. Like, come on. Ugh. Adokoi, Gorok diplomacy campaign win. Why? Do, does does Gorok have like a, a good bonus to uh, diplomacy? I do not remember. It has been a hot minute since I've played. Oh, they're gonna ask me for peace? You know what? I'm gonna take it because I'm not really interested in fighting them. I don't want them to attack me over here and 1800 is a good amount. Will they offer me any more? They are, dude, you sneaky little bitches. They can, by the way, if they, if anybody ever offers you money, they will offer you more. See, I can get like a good 20, 50 out of that. Bam. 
2050. And they wanted to offer me 1600. That's like an extra 450 gold. I need to do that way more. If they're ever offering you money, they can offer more. It's always, it's like, it's like extortionate. Just press balance offer. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> you can get it right down to a finite amount. You get the absolute maximum? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... It's fine. Alright, now we kill the orcs. Yes. Medium casualties again? Are you fucking kidding me? What are you talking about? They don't even have walls. This is going to be a fucking slaughter. God damn it, I wish bulls were worth more in the auto resolve. Every time you play it, dwarves are like... Ogres are worth plenty in the auto in the in the actual fight, especially when like they don't take into account like anti-infantry or nothing Why is your recruitment panel that big uh, because I have a UI extended UI thing for when you're uh, on like higher resolution stuff also Like it's why my UI is so small It's a UI. I can't remember what the mods called. It's like UI expansion something 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 I let me check because it's actually a great mod and I recommend it it says that it's out of out of um out of date, but it's it's fine. It's called Oh, I've had it for too long. It's so many pages in. High resolution UI improvements. Yeah, it's fucking bomb. Definitely recommend it. Oops. Oh, fuck. Alright, there we go. We can just head, hold, like, whole ass charge into these dudes. It don't even matter. Your walks will do nothing. Look at the balance of power immediately. And it's like medium casualties. Like, okay, dude. Adequate, were you gonna play Armored Core 6 in uh, in August? Maybe, I'm not a huge mech guy, but if it's good, I'll play it. I don't know anything about it, though. Adequate, auto-resolve with a full stack Vampire Counts Army versus five siege units equals close defeat. Yeah, I know. I know. It's nuts. They don't take into account spells, regen, anything. I know that auto resolve in, in a game like this that's this big is going to be extremely difficult, but like they should just constantly be tuning it and trying to improve it. So some of the auto resolve things I've had have been just so wrong. So incredibly wrong. Play Gloomwood? I don't know what that is. Oh my fucking god, what? Why did that do so much? All right, charge headlong, boys. Fuck it. Get straight in there. Where the fuck, Scrag? Scrag on the caster. This guy on the caster. This guy on the Scrag. Fuck me. Okay, yeah, take that guy out. That is actually pretty strong. That is a good projectile attack. Wow. Nope. Archers will kill us. We do not want that. Uh. Get in. Get the scraggy boy in. Buff our ogres that are surrounded. Come on. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Classic ogre W. Oh my god. Ooh. We're getting smoked. Uh bring us me in my gut. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Come on. Come on. The more come on. Come on, he's teeing off on you, Scrag. Come on, boy. God, he's gonna waste his fucking portion of strength. Come on, dude. Please just hit him. Please hit him. Scrag, come on, man. Oh, 
classic Warhammer bullshit. Truly classic. <laughs> oh my god, he still hasn't hit him. Come on! Are you kidding me? Holy shit. There we go. God damn, dude. That's gotta be amongst some of the most annoying bugs in this game. Just the, when the when the units walk around, like just running around something instead of attacking it, and it never happens to the AI. It doesn't even it doesn't matter like like what the unit is. If they're a footlord and the AI are controlling them especially, they are like gods of, of consistent hitting. But as soon as I command them to attack something, they start running around it. Oh, finally, Scrag! You just had to wait until the end of the fight, didn't you? And I've got auto resolve, Aikid Claw, 19 Stormborn members, minor con settlement defense, and an alone level 3 hero. Yep. Core are worth an insane amount in the auto resolve, but it's because their units are so expensive and so, like, you know, well, strong, to be honest. They are very strong. Wait, was this a siege? Yeah, yeah. This is a siege. Wait, this is a waste of time. Not even close. Medium casualties, my fat ass. We took plenty of casualties there too. Like, these guys got beat the fuck up and it doesn't even matter because of the monstrous infantry low model count. Like, it's all about losing models. Scrag and other mounted units love pushing units instead of hitting them. I know, I hate it. I, I truly, I hate it so much. And like when an enemy's retreating off of the, the side of the, uh, of the battle and your guy's just walking after them, pushing them off the map faster and not hitting them. God damn it, that is, that is annoying. How goes the campaign? Pretty good so far. So we're gonna occupy Dark Karez. We're gonna replenish first. Then on the next turn we'll go we'll go for um Wait, are they at war with these guys? They are not. Ooh. Alright. You know what? I might beeline back, take back Dwise Bag, give it all to the uh to these guys so they can have a unified province. They're going to absolutely be all over our dick, and then we can go for Stone Mine. It hungers. Smart. Uh, you come from all buildings in the local province. This should be faction wide. It is never worth it. Meat provided by camps. I might actually go for that. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Just Thank to stock you, up on meat God while we're man. near the camp. Thank you. Uh, we're good. We just need to one more, one more growth point. How close are we? Two more turns. We can get a cauldron thing, and we can build our. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. All right, I'll I'll delete this now and stop building the other building. Oh, that tyrant. Of it, of it, uh, how many? Five fights. End your turn with over fifty meat. Yep. Now, nope, fuck that. I want world swallower the second we can get it. We just got to do more fights. Oops. I will. I will. I will. All right. My Kupano right. No! God damn it. I don't go. What mods do you recommend? Um, I should do like a recommended uh, mod list or some shit. I was thinking of creating one. Just like, you know how you can make them? I was thinking of just calling it like Oko's favorites or some shit. Uh, I can just like, you know, uh, like variant selector is good. Um, Obviously, some base ones. Mod configuration tool. Uh, Fucking, you know, memory reader. For modding stuff uh that iron skin tribe mod that just dropped is pretty good uh better camera mod obviously less buff and effective vfx i'm a big fan of it basically like gets rid of all the big glowy ugly effects when you're casting on units and stuff like that so you can't even see the unit like i hate that shit it removes like the majority of them high resolution ui improvements makes like expands all the menus and stuff like that so like if you open diplomacy look Oh shit. Um Where are Verms at? I think Verms are over here in Iron Rock. Yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. Skill queue is hundred percent necessary, IMO. Yeah, 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 it's great. It's honestly so great. Something they should implement into the base game for sure. Oh my god. 
camp. Extra building. Money. Growth. Fuck yeah. One more turn. Ah, oh, we're getting so close to Gorgers. Fuck. I want to nip back and get myself some Gorgers, though. Because it's actually going to be kind of rough beating uh, the Bloody Hands. Like, they're no joke. But yeah, the uh, the mod expands diplomacy. So you see how big this menu is? Instead of this being like this big up to like here and you have to scroll through it, it's just all here in a big old thing. So it's great for big monitors. Like if you have a if you have 2K resolution, 4K resolution, whatever, it expands this. Any pop-up menus that are just like way bigger. So you can see all of the information instead of having to scroll up and down. Really good. Super recommend that. The console commands mods great. Um I've made some mods like Upside Down Archeon and Chad Stelton, One Button Respec, uh, Fully Randomized Star Positions. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The Bruisers mod by, uh, Calm, by Calm. That's a fucking awesome mod. You want to mix up your Ogre campaign? I probably should have had that enabled for this campaign. That would have been fun. Alright, let's keep going in. Adam Koi, if you want to check where Skaven are, uh, just change the map mode to check public order reveals them right away. Yeah, there's also you can just look and see if the province is like super um, Skaven corrupted. Oh, fuck. Really? Clan Verms! I'm going to decline attack and hope that they lose. Fuck! God damn it. That's so annoying. Uh... No, I'm not going to take another aggression pack when they the guys fuck it. God damn it, clan worms. You know what? I'm going to attack it. Fuck it. Clan worms, in my experience, are a pain in the ass. Medium again? Eat my fucking scrum. Son of a bitch, dude. I'm just going to take it. Fuck it. We got decent replenishment raid. Fuck it. And then occupy, take this, and then we will replenish for a turn, get pretty much all of our army back, and then, oh, it's getting so cheap too. So 8% plus 9% plus 50% off. Wait, you, God damn it! you don't start these unlocks until rank 14? Wow, that sucks. Uh, uh, magic. Right? Wait, I don't need double rank in Bull Gorger. Blood Gruel. I love Blood Gruel. Lol, instantly unreliable, no ball diplomacy at all. No, I didn't have any deals with them. I didn't take a non-aggression pact. Wait, did I take a non-aggression pact with them? Fuck! Wait, did I take a non-aggression pact? I thought I can't- I thought I declined it. Did I actually take that the non-aggression pact? What the fuck? Why would I do that? What the fuck? Did I say that I wanted to decline it and then take it? Because it's a dumb idea. Did I say I was going to decline it or did I just take it without even thinking? Oh, that's so annoying. Ugh! We'll get it back. We'll get it back. It's fine. We'll do that right now, actually. So, Barak Var. Unfriendly. They like us because we fucked with Clan Verms, though. It's improving right now. A total of negative 25, though, because of aversion. No, the, sorry, the total is... No, negative 25. What the fuck? No, wait. Okay, okay. They condemn... Is, yeah, okay. So, we're plus 5. Right. So, trade settlement. We will give them... Uh, uh, I don't. I need to go through Doc Karez. Okay, well, wait. Wait, hold on. Have we been- It's been a turn, though, right? Any no, it hasn't. God damn it. My well, we'll wait God one turn. Lord. What? That's the worst that could happen. What's the worst that could happen? Tyrant. God damn it. Fuck. You said, bah, I'll take it. Fuck! Stupid. 
right. Hey, whoa, we'll swallower. Here we go. Diplomatic relations plus training with all factions and campaign movement range. Bam. Now we're diplomatic gods. Hell yeah. Also, I'm going to demolish this building because we get a free 300 and we're going to give it away anyway. All right. It's all coming up Millhouse. At least it's only low. Yeah. We'll see. As long as the dwarves don't declare war on us randomly, we're good. We're safe. We're safe. All right. So March stance our way over to here. And then uh, how's our building doing? Three more turns until we, get, until we can get it. Gorgers. I might even global recruit because this is going to run out in one turn. Then we can do the global recruitment uh, time reduction and recruit some gorges on the spot. One turn apiece. All right. Here we go. Diplomacy time. We'll give them, we'll give them Dwaz bag. Oh my god, they don't give a fuck. 9.8? Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, dude. You really don't value it that much? Why is our unfriendliness? Okay, it's improving to 23. Ruler's tolerance plus 20 because of that. Right. Bam. There we go. 40. Gifts given to Barak Var. So now they like us by 78. How do the dwarves feel about yes. us giving gifts to them? Ruler's tolerance plus 20. Aversion negative 22. They don't give a fuck because of lack of aversion. But they should like us because we attack clan worms, right? No, they don't give a fuck. But that plus 20 is going to do wonders. That's going to basically offset our... Uh, our um, cultural aversion to most factions. So we're gonna, oh everyone's gonna be totally me. neutral with us, which is gonna be great. All right, we're doing good. We're gonna, we're, we're doing good. Okoy hurt itself in its confusion. <laughs> Okoy, how did you get your diplomacy list of factions to be so big? Uh, it's called. I just fucking read it out. God damn it, I forgot the name. UI High Resolution Improvements. Look up, type in UI, and it's UI High Resolution Improvements. Basically, it extends the UI. No! Fuck! Oh, fucking god damn it. Oh, that sucks, dude. Oh, that sucks so much. God damn it. No! Oh, I'm so sad and disappointed. I'm actually so sad. Oh, my feast boys. You should should have donated to daddy more. Ogre down. They're dead. Fuck, oh, dude. That sucks. Well, the scabby eye are destroyed. Ooh, maybe we can do one of these because this would be also good for... Okay, Barak Devar want us to capture and occupy the Forest of Gloom. Zuffbar want us to capture and occupy uh, Grom Peak. The Top Nuts want us to kill Malagor the, the Dark Omen. And we get camp growth and diplomatic relations with Barak Bar. Okay, I'm going to take this. And then what we can do is we can... Uh, okay, here's the plan, right? We sit here, we replenish. We get Renown and Fear, which I thought I already got. I don't know why I don't have that. I must have reset it. Um, we get... Oh, because I reset it because of the double. God, God damn it. Yeah, I remember now. Um, I good stuff. Like more. All right, here's the plan. Here's the plan. We... Oh, wait, actually, I want Beast Slayer. We offer the Great more. We get, um... Ooh, okay. God damn it. All right, I'm on, a I'm on the fence here. Do we go and attack? Because there's no point in attacking these guys down south now, right? Maybe I just give them the stone mine tower so that they like me, but then the dwarves are gonna like me less because of gifts given to the green skins. So maybe we just give stone mine tower to these guys too. We give them Doc Karaz, we give them the stone mine tower, right? And then we move back up into Motorka, and then I don't have to use my uh, my glue thing. So we'll go campaign movement range. I will we'll get all the way up to Akendorf quicker. We will f recruit a bunch of um. 
Two turns, we'll, we'll get the Gorger Cave. Four turns is about how long it'll take us to get to Ekendor. We recruit a bunch of stuff. We recruit a Gorger Doom stack. We destroy the Forest of Gloom. Varakvar like us even more. We give Varakvar the Stone Mine Tower and Duck Karaz. They fucking love us. And then we focus on going north into the Empire. We destroy the dwarves up here, right? And then we give these two provinces to the Golden uh, Order. Maybe in a, okay, we'll definitely be able to ally with the Barracor Dwarves too. Since the Feastmasters are dead, I kind of don't give a shit about going south now. So we just ally with the Order Tide instead. That sounds like a better idea to me. Uh, meat maybe? Oh wait, upkeep production for the, everything in the camp, battle loot for everything in the origins, and... You should be able to- I think every time you upgrade your ogre camp, it should extend the radius. If you're not able to move these, like, the radius should reach, like, all the way down here when it's a level 5 camp. Like, you should be able to double it. It should go by 25% per rank. Like, like, level 1 is the regular, then 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25 right? And then you buy- but, so at this point, it's, it's 200%, and it's, like, reaches very far. At the very least, that's better than being able to move them if they don't really don't want mobile camps and everything, right? Bad take? Oh man. I think that's a good idea. It should have an extended mo uh, radius. If you're not able to move them like um, Black Ox, because I, I submitted that as feedback and they said that they, they don't want to do that. See, we're like, nah. 125% max should be two thirds, but why? It's not that OP. All it gives you is some bonuses, like regen and shit like that. The influence of a camp should be extended drastically. May All right, maybe like 50% upgrade. 200% might be a little bit OP, like fair enough. Uh, Different like religions, that's gonna be, that's useless, dude. We're so far away from Ogre Kingdoms, that's so useless. This motherfucker's gonna to declare war on me if I try and move through his shit. I just know he is. Alright, how about this? Barak, Barak Far. We talk to him. Daddy Ray Barak or Camp Start Plundering Dwarf. Bruh, they really don't give a fuck. 3,000, get some fat stacks. And what can the Dowie do for you? And we give him, uh, Stone Mine Tower. Another 19, more money. Time. So now they fucking love us. Plus 167. They fucking love us, which is great. Wait, can I get a military I'll access off them? Minus 24, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well, they're, are, they're about to fucking hate me then because I have to go through their fucking Love territory. Son of a bitch. No hesitation, no rest. I, I'm, I don't want to get risk. I don't want to get... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we're not going to get attacked. It's fine. I will wait. We're all good. Bribe every turn if you want access. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, we've lift, we put them on a pedestal. That's good. They fucking love us. They're not likely to declare war, but it kind of annoys me that they're this against having any kind of agreements with us. Like, really? Negative 50? Is it because they're technically neutral right now? Like, eventually it'll be 167, and then they'll want to trade with us and give us military access and stuff? Or is it also our reliability is very low, which is not going to help? Yes. Ugh. That's probably what it is, to be honest. Yeah, they don't trust us. Oh, oh that, that's gonna... Dude, that's gonna really fuck me. This is why you should never make deals with the Skaven. May as well just make Ogres a Horde faction. Eh. I don't care. Give it a six to seven turns from now and they'll boggle with you. Boggle? <laughs> I like that word. Oh, you see, he's coming. He's fucking coming. If we were in here for one more turn, he would come all over us. He would come to us and all over us. All right, there we go. Two turns. Up our growth. Two, three province in uh, Matorka because they were way more dangerous. Uh, fat money. And now we delete our army. I'll tell you what. Combine. My cook bought her rights. 
Maybe I keep a couple of uh, Ogre Bulls with Iron Fists. Nah, dude. Oh, Gorgeous are worth our 91. Like, we're stupid if we're not recruiting uh, Gorgeous. We're real stupid man. if we're not. Uh, two turns. Iron Fists are great. Iron Fists are definitely good. I think, especially for a faction that's so squishy, you know, when it comes to uh, defending against that kind of crab, against defending against missiles and stuff like that. Wait, wait where's our Gorger buff too? Because there's something, there it is, live bait. Recruitment cost minus 10% and weapon strength, that's definitely worth it, holy shit. Oh, but five camp growth? Do I give, do we give a fuck about camp growth if we can already get Gorgers though? Like, no, fuck it, that's a waste of time. Let's go straight for live bait. Minus 5% upkeep for all ogre units. Gorgers are technically ogres, so does, do they count? Probably not, right? Treasury reward contracts is going to be kind of useless, but maybe we'll be able to do that because we're a lot more flexible than usual. Yeah, so we'll go straight for live bait. Meat game from battles 10%. Tribal gathering. Fuck yeah. Alright. Oh, Hello boy, did you see the Grim Kleppers video where he started a campaign by declaring war on every faction? Oh, you mean... Uh, that name rings a bell, I think? Uh, isn't that just a total war campaign where you, like, declare war on all factions? Every faction, you have to declare war on every faction, that's already been done, like, a lot. That's a classic, uh, playthrough style. Prepare its meat tribute. Uh, boss, and that's that. All right, one more turn, and we can start uh, getting our gorgers. How do they feel about us? Oh, look how much they're liking us, dude. It's already thirty-one, and it's going. It's improving too. It is. And what can the military access? Fifty-five for military. Yeah, deal. Fuck it. That's more deals, which means they're gonna like us more. More treaties means more like, which means higher good stuff, etc., etc. Yes. Not aggression pack with it. Now, see, if I make any deals with factions that the doors don't like, they're going to really. How long does it take us to get our reliability back, by the way? How long does this take? Is it because it's still very low? Like, how long is that gonna take? Oh yeah, another Oakway live stream. Hey, what up, Chris? Glad you're liking, my dude. Fuck it, we got 11k. I'm just gonna start upgrading shit. Also, I don't give a fuck about high growth, I think, because we're, we're basically gonna be stopping once we've got... Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna build this, because then we can get more hunt. Wait, does this increase the amount of hunters we can get? Your capacity plus one of our hunters. Yes, it does. Uh... Although, wait, no, no. Do we need multiple hunters? It might be good to have a couple of them, actually. And also, double recruitment won't hurt. Yeah, fuck it. Wait, no. Because then I'm wasting growth point. Okay, no, fuck that. Uh, meat. The radius. Uh, has a different punishment rate. Yeah, fuck it. One more turn, and then we can stop building shit. I'm just gonna delete all this crap now. Just to get us, like, fat stacks in the end, end turn. Man, it's so nice seeing green numbers on a diplomacy screen. You know what I mean? Like, I've been doing Chaos Dwarves lately, obviously, because they just released. And every single time you go into diplomacy, it's just red across the damn board. They're going to declare war on us. I just know it. Yep. It's a good job we have some dwarves in between us and them. And they just got their shit taken. Oof. Okay, we may have to go suppress um, some savage orcs and start giving their territory to the regular dwarves or some shit to get an alliance with them. Because, uh... Oof. Ugla Gork's Chosen. They have underway, so they could get to Matorka pretty easily. Yeah, I gotta be careful. We gotta really start recruiting fast. Two turns per? Are you kidding me? Oops. Oops. Wait, a thousand? One thousand one hundred fifty-five? Jesus Christ, gorgeous are expensive. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's so much more expensive than I ever thought it would be. Okay, we definitely need reduction to, uh, to, Tyrant. like, purchase costs. You're basically recruiting a bunch of fucking cave-dwelling, like, animals. Ooh, Averland like us a lot, actually. 
because they're neutral with us because of that ruler's tolerance it's uh starting off neutral with with empire factions is great yes. i don't remember where Karak known are though does anybody remember where Karak known are here is that them yeah that's them okay so they're over to our left i'll take a non-aggression pack with them no one's gonna get mad at me for getting non-aggression pack with them Averlin wanted a non-aggression pact, but I kind of want to kill them. Oh, they're okay. They're allied with a lot of Empire guys. Sylvania, they're what was Sylvania and Wissenland? Oh, maybe if I kill them, I can I can hold me up with Wissenland, and that'll get me some territory up into this zone. And maybe Sylvania will like me, but then we can kill Sylvania. Huh? I don't know, man. Neighbors with Durthu? Was it global recruitment? Uh, I mean, global recruitment, it, they're, they're costing 2k a turn. So they're really expensive. But they still, they, like, this is uh, Border Prince's territory. But they're still expensive as fuck. Oh man, my second boy is going to be so expensive too. Flabby. Strategist. Oh, these big daddy sucks, dick. That should be plus 30 charge bonus. Easily. This should be like plus 10. Flabby should be like plus 50. Unit mass does not account. Adoko, are you gonna try Age of Wonders 4? Uh I do I don't think I like the way that the game like the gameplay looks. But I saw Tur Turin playing it a little bit. I, I think the game has a lot of customization. So maybe I'd try it out. I could make like I could bring I could make remake the Ogre Kingdoms or make my own like twisted, weird looking goofy ass faction. Find me flesh. Yeah. What were you saying earlier about the UI extensive something something mod? It just type in the word UI. It's like you it's Lord it's got a pretty blatant name, like UI extended high quality something something, I don't know. It has a lot of upvotes, it's a really good mod. Later I can't remember what it's tribe. called though. Exactly. The god mouth, come on. More gorgers. More gorgers. Man, they're fucking expensive, dude. I've never seen a unit so expensive to recruit, but so cheap for upkeep. I guess it makes sense because normally the units like by base costs. Fuck, where are they? Uh, 275 a turn, and we've got them for 91, which is wild. Mouth. Mouth. What that mouth do? Okay, maybe um, getting that building would be a good idea. Yeah, fuck it. Anyone Although I need money for recruitment. Now, fuck it. I'm not wasting my time with that bull. Obey me. Fair, fair, fam. No Don't worry about AO, A, AOW4, okay? You won't enjoy it. Uh, I mean. I need pretty, like, flashy lights gameplay. You know what I mean? It's the same reason I don't play, like, Hots of Iron, and I don't play, like, Crusader Kings and stuff, is because, like, the actual raw gameplay for me is, like, battles and stuff. You know what I mean? Fuck off! Get the fuck out of here, you fucking pirate-ass bitch! Fucking strength rank 33, you little fucking stinky-ass pirate fish lady. Whatever. Whatever. We'll win that fight. She got nothing on us. I will ally with the goddamn... Oh, they like us a lot. Mil Dude, they don't even hold grudges because of the their tolerance with us. The military accidents against the Scavii and war with the bloody hands. They actually like us a lot. Can we do anything with those guys? Can we, like, get homied up with the Border Princes? Non-aggression pack. Oh, fuck no, yeah, dude. Folks. It's already paying yes. off. Agreed. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, what about a 3k? No, fuck that. What else? So, we can get, uh... Onward, no more trade agreements. The Dude, the Barrack Var fucking suck. They fucking love us and they still don't want a trade agreement. Okay, reliability's back up to low. That's good. Back up to low, I say. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Fuck yes. those guys. We'll probably declare war on Averland. We'll see how that goes. I want to move up through the crevice. Oh... Oh, wow. Okay. He doesn't even have a wog yet. Dude, okay. The barrack bar guys might get killed. Um. Okay, I'm getting a little worried. I'm gonna be real. Um. 
Let's start recruiting a garrison in Matoka too. Do what I say. 55 upkeep per turn if we recruit gorgeous into this army. But ah oh, man, we're using all of our recruitment. 13 per turn for uh Noblars, but Noblars suck dick. They're not very effective at all. But dual weps can hold off a lot, even if they're in a camp. So maybe we just recruit a 600 a turn though. Oh, I need my money for Gorgers. I need my Gorgi money. Wait, can we recruit? Uh, hold on. I'm so stupid. Recruitment cost minus 5%. Uh, that would have been way more useful. We don't even need growth in this province anymore because we're maxed out. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, dumb. We'll figure it out. Echo, do you like Europa Universalis? I've heard of it. I've never played it. Uh, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know much about the game. I'm, I'll be honest. Why is it good? I've never played it. Two more turns, we'll have like a bunch of uh, Gorgers. Any more dipl diplomacy? No, we're getting closer though. I'm a little worried about this though. That This is a nightmare to deal with. Because they're deaf, they're going to absolutely wipe out all this dude's territory. Wait, if we take it all, if he takes over all of their territory though, and we kill him and take it all back and give it back to Barak Var, they're going to be in love with us. <laughs> They're gonna like he may he may like propose It's medieval 2 with muskets and numbers you'll hate it at okay. Ah, okay, fair enough Another PDX gain why is upkeep so low? Uh, because um scrag gets negative 50% upkeep to gorgers and then on top of that Oh, they've declared war on us 100% oh I'll take a free non-aggression pact actually fuck it like I, it's gonna harm our uh, diplomacy with other factions, but the fact that they're not declaring war on us is gonna be is gonna outweigh the negatives All right, so they've taken Dark Karaz. We have a little bit of time before they're gonna be coming up for us, but not a whole lot One more turn until we can build a tribal campground But I need that money Ugh. I'm getting worried. This is worrying. Do we know uh, reduce recruitment costs. Nope. Damn it. Cabin Dweller, no. Offer to the Great Mole costs, no. Let's buff, um, Gorgers. Beast of the Mountain. Charge bonus? Armor is good, but charge bonus is mid as fuck. Oh, fuck me. I forgot to equip the Terrifying Mask of E. Uh... Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna keep all active stuff on Scrag, actually, just so I don't have to split it. And this guy can get the Terrifying Mask. Alright. Can we recruit that? What? Mass. Okay, Strategist is just for this guy, not for the parent army, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's not, and we'll just get Mass. Glog? Please tell me he has a good, uh, big name. Mountain Talker, Bone Chewer, Melee Attack, ah, Super Mid, whatever. No That's fine. Oh, camp would have been a third recruitment point. I'm glad I... We should have started building this already. Because it's going to take us so long to recruit these, these fucking gorgers. No, but it's growth! Ah, uh, So many double-edged swords. Yeah, they're gonna take bar the barrack bar, guys. Oh, this sucks, dude. How many turns? Three. Eh, three turns. Uh, we'll get there. I'm worried that <laughs> this is so much shit, dude. Trolls! Come on, and it's Savage Orcs too, so you know Urzeg has some like fat army buffs. And we still need to take the Forest of Gloom. They have an Arachnorok Spider. Fuck. That's gonna suck to deal with. Maybe Gorgers will be worth a lot in the auto resolve though, but we could just auto it. Urzeg popping off. Urzeg always pops off. The green skins are fucking strong as hell, man. 
They're so strong. And he doesn't even have a wog. That's the fucked up thing. He doesn't even have a wog yet. He just is like clapping cheeks left and right. Wogs in chat for the uh, fat. Oh, recruitment cost minus 25%. All armies. Oh, hell yeah, dude. And we don't even need growth. Oh, so good. 400. Ooh. You know, I'll take that. Obey me! Slayer of Gaius. Bad mobility. Uh. We don't even have enough. Ah, oh, man. Dude, they're so cheap, though. They're so cheap. I love it. Uh, what, what was the, uh, it's 5k to upgrade this bitch. Oh, man. That's only two turns, though. 15 out of 20 ain't bad. Where did the, uh, wait, where'd the other army go? Wait, did they attack them? Where, where's that go? Oh, no. Diplo, though. Let's see how our Diplo yes. is going. Averlin, like what? us a lot less. Reliability ranks going down a little bit. Not great. We're up to 96, dude. So. Fuck yeah, Barak Bar. Will they give us anything though? Is it does does our reliability uh -huh. rating really hurt us and that much? We do for you on this Bro, that day. sucks, man. I really, you really got to be careful with your diplomacy, huh? I understand that reliability rating is an important factor Leader in diplomacy, but boy. like. I was just making some deals with some nasty rats. Can you blame a man for making deals with nasty rats? No. Big name unlocked, Glog. What do you unlock? Recruitment one? Oh, we've been wogged. We've been wogged. No. I'm not going to take that. We've been wogged, dude. Fuck. Oh, we've been wogged on. This is a wog. What, do you, what big name did he unlock? What you unlock, Glog? Some good? Frenzy for yourself. That's kind of selfish. Campaign line of sight. Ah, fuck it, we'll take it. Frenzy ain't bad. Frenzy's good. Okay, one more turn. We have a couple more. We have the money to recruit some bulk. Oh, I could round off the province, though. That would be good. I'm boss, and that's that. Nah, I might just save up for the 5k. Cools. Where the fuck? He must have lost the army, look. Because where else would he be right now, right? He's not like he's gonna be in... It's not like he's gonna be in uh, ambush stance. Lurking nearby, right? I didn't see him underway. Maybe he went south to fight something. Oh, shit. Okay, we should be careful. Okay, oh, okay. God damn it. The Pirates of Sartosa are absolutely clapping the cheeks off the border princes. Fuck. That's not good for us. That's not good at all. One rug. Zufbar. Oh, they're pretty close. So, ready. Eh. My We're moving up in the in the. Oh, so many decisions. Do you guys think fifteen out of twenty gorgers with Scrag with two um hunters, bone crusher level one, blood gruel. Uh, a little bit of bust for the gorgers. Do you think that's enough to take out this? To take out Snor Snorko, Ol Weirdy, a garrison, and also Wes Thumper. I think the gorgers are too squishy. No, right? It's not enough, right? Remember, we're on normal battle difficulty, not very hard. The boss. Hell no. Mm. It's worth a try though, right? I think it's worth a try. I think it's worth a try. I think it's worth a try. Two hunters and Scrag versus one Arachnorok spider and a bunch of other squishy shit. This would be a really good test to see whether or not, um, whether or not they're bozos or not. And, okay, I'm like 99% sure. There he is! Forget Fuck it. you! Okay, we gotta fight him. We, we can just retake Varenka Hills then. He's about to get wiped the fuck out. Maybe we just start allying with the dwarves. Okay, this is a perfect opportunity to ally the with the dwarves. Alright, here we go. 
Uh, I say we take the melee attack now, because that's going to help hugely. 55 plus frenzy, that's going to bring us up to 60. Plus 65 uh, melee attack. And then also when we're fighting infantry, we're going to get another 20. So that's like 80 melee attack. 80 melee attack with uh, 100 web strength. They're all unbreakable. We can do this. That might even be an auto. They've got mostly infantry. They've got a couple of units of range. He prioritizes infantry more than anything. It's going to be damage v damage. Oh shit, another quest. Does this replace our old quest? Razor Sack Valley of Sorrow. I'm not doing that. Wait, Creeping Death want us to... I'm not going to do either of those fucking things. I say we win that. I say we win that fight. That's a win. All right, put that up. Build our money building and we're good. We'll slap on a quick save and we'll fight. I say we win this fight. That's a win. Close to feet. Um... Uh. Oh man, this is a big old fight, dude. That's a lot. Wurzag himself isn't a particularly strong melee fighter, right? He's 340, which means they're not going to have a real answer for our single entities. Fuck it. Let's fucking do it. Let's give him some revenge crumping. Reverse crump time. Let's crump the green skins. The enemy sallies out into to field to fight on the field as opposed to fucking what? Se minor settlement battles are field battles. What does sallying out do? Wait, they have reinforcements. Oh, oh, six seconds. Eat my dick, dude. What? All right, here's the plan. We go. Okay, two, fours, threes for two, fives for three. All of our sneaky boys, right? Archer, Scrag, let's channel magic. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! That's a good omen. We got four extra wins of magic, cool. They need to make that more impactful. I missed the Warhammer 2 version of that where you could get like 15 wins of magic, but if it fucked up, you lost like 10. That's like okay lost. The Gorgers versus the Gorks. Hide in the trees? No, fuck that. Okay, because uh, if we put Gorgers in the trees, they get, um, look, see? They get 80% uh, melee attack and 80% um, speed. So we lose 20% speed and 20% melee attack, which we need all the melee attack we can get. Fuck you. Son of a bitch. We're fast, though. 59 speed on Gorgers. Gorgers. Alright, if we maintain the high ground, they're not going to be able to hit us as effectively with the range unit. So if we just goon them out in fat melee, kill them as fast as possible, right? Get a couple of fat bone crushers down in the blobs. Maybe buff our boys. Scrag gets regen. We can use them to goon people out with a potion of strength. We've got uh, bone our uh, hunters to deal with everything else. Get the fuck in there, boss! Hell yeah, dog pile, boss! Our armor piercing isn't gonna do us much good here, but I think that we have the frenzy and the weapon strength to be able to tear through them like they're butter. And also we have the mass to get through to their ranged units. Speaking of which, I want to push through to their ranged units, because that's gonna decide be the deciding factor of this fight. Taking out their, their couple of units of ranged. Okay. We gotta push through to get their archers. Like it's it's worth it to take casualties to get through to their range. A hundred percent. Fuck, maybe we should have gotten in the trees. Fuck, they have too many they have way too many units of archers. Fuck. Okay, they have way too many units of archers, I didn't realize. Uh get a fist down. Oh fuck. Yeah, we're gonna get isolated here. We're not strong enough to chew through them fast enough. We, they're gonna like we can survive in melee, but not in, in range. Through to the range, get through to the range, just push through, push through. Oh no! 
Okay, I fucked up. We gotta come at this a different way. All right, how about... How about... Mmm. Mmm. We've got... Maybe we pull them into the trees, because that's gonna nullify their ranged. Negative 20% melee attack and speed isn't actually that bad of an issue considering we have frenzy right so how about we p okay it's worth it it's worth it we take the ma yeah okay it's worth it it's worth it it's worth it it's totally worth it it's definitely worth it because we have frenzy right and we can afford to take the melee attack debuff because there it's it's worth it it trades out for the uh the ranged units i think so if we do right here like this Stop the battle, pull him over onto this hill, pull him into the trees. All right. All right! We'll just have 60 attacks, so it, it would go down to like 50. Ex well, yeah, not only that, dude, they have 65 because of Frenzy, too. If 65, it's gonna go down, to, yeah, it's gonna only go down to like by like maybe 10. It's worth it. It's definitely worth it. To nullify their ranged advantage, I think it's worth it. Fuck you. Damn it. El Bozo. Get him. Get him. Fucking Goblin Wolfrider Archers. Yeah, look, see, immediately their ranged is like way less effective. And we can just goon him out in like a fat melee fight. Trees are gonna make them like minimally effective. Goon them, blob up, send our high value targets out in front. Maybe range some of their guys down? No, let's just chew through them. Oh, we're on the brow of the hill, so that's gonna like nullify their direct range. So they're gonna be shooting up and onto instead of directly at. I'm telling you, man, they're like gorgers need some work. They're very underpowered, in my opinion. They really need some, some, some buffs. Like, just watch how squishy gorgers are. No regen, no nothing. Uh, no blobs. Is that worth it? Maybe. Go up there? Yeah, that's worth it. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad. The more commands, the more tools. Okay, pull back up there. Okay, we get, we're still taking some some hefty hits. Voice. Pull back, pull back. Scraggy. Surround him, wrap around. Oh fuck, those are big ones, that's why. They have the, the empty lodge. Oh fuck, they have the bonus versus lodge, that's not good. This is why I haven't made a Gorger Doom set, goddammit! Gorgers got punished for how good they were at launch on multiplayer. I know, dude. I did a lot of PvP in, on, on, on multiplayer launch. I know. Fuck! Come on, Hunter. Fuck out of there. Fuck the biggins up. I don't know if this is winnable. I really don't know if this is winnable. Oh, well! Oh man. We're unbreakable. We just gotta remember that. We're completely unbreakable. So I So we'll fight right down to the last last couple of dudes. God, there's a lot of them. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. The more commands! Ogre hunter! It suits me! For the hunt! Oh man, dude, there's so many! Wars! Fuck! Fuck! Fucking itchy nuisance, god damn it! Okay, that just fucked their own guys up. Where's like a big blob? Oh, about here. I don't know, man. I don't know if this is winnable. Fuck! I literally think that gorgers are too weak for us to win this. Fuck, they've got the wraparound. But actually, you know what? We're doing okay. I think our, our damage is gonna stop pulling through. Oh, smell game. <laughs> oh my god. Did they not have any lords? Oh, fuck, where's that? It's boys. Duh. Slice the meat. 
Oh man. Oh, we're taking so many casualties, dude. This is rough. Corner camp? You don't have regeneration for your bonus? No, not yet. Not yet. Fuck it. Fuck it. Man, they're really chewing through us like badly. Not everybody's losing though. We're definitely losing on the left flank. The right flank, not so much. We just gotta break their leadership, right? Doesn't matter if we. God damn it, we lost the hunter. Come on, Scrag. Which unit is doing the best? 74. Uh, this one. Good shit. We're not doing terrible. We are chewing through them. If gorgeous do nothing else, they do a lot of damage. Oof. They're really fucking their own guys with that spell. Every time. And fuck for enemy casters. Only 14 wins in reserve. Oh man. Why is fucking Scrag retreating? The fuck? Come on, Scrag. I'll be a priest. You didn't you, okay, all their melee is losing decisively. No. Yeah, on to the right. Fuck it. Go on the side of the hill. Fuck it. We gotta get away from this range because they're doing something. Nice. That's good for us. That is actually great for us. Fuck these savage orcs. Up. Oh, this is so bad. Uh, one right here. Is that gonna be good? Boom. Okay, that's something. I got a lot of number breaking. Haven't lost any gorgers yet. This is the benefit of. Okay, one of our hunters is shattered for damn sure. What is these savage orcs got? Why are they not breaking? What is that little buffer they've got? I know that's a scrap upgrade, but I forget which one. Dude, they are literally just bombing their own guys. Okay, we might win. We might just outlast them because of screw. Oh, shit, nice. Fuck it. Uh, uh, these. Fuck. Eight. Nice. I think we're gonna win just just about. I think we're just about gonna win. Oh! What a scrap this has been. We just gotta keep rounding. Oh wait, shit, biggins, 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 biggins. Focus the biggins, focus the biggins. That's not good. Focus the biggins, focus the biggins. Yeah, okay, the biggins are what. Hold on, I need to check the value on these biggins. I guarantee it's fucking ridiculous. Savage Oak biggins, 939 value. And then the other ones have got... What? Nah, nine... Okay, it's the same one. <laughs> 939 value for Savage Oak biggins. God. God damn. See, the, I don't agree with the balance of power because we don't have... We don't have to worry about any of that leadership bullshit. As long as we don't lose our hunter, this is a win. It's gonna be a Pyrrhic, but it's a win. Adokoi, have Gorgers been buffed in any way or are they still nerfed? Uh, they got a tiny buff to their damage after they were completely nerfed. They used to be even worse than they are right now. Uh, they got nerfed into fucking oblivion. They were so bad. No, the, the CA were actually like, okay, this unit is irredeemably terrible now, and we need to uh, level the playing field out just a little bit. So they gave them back a little bit of their damage, but not by enough that it, it makes like a huge effect. They're still uh, underpowered. Oh man, fucking green skin leadership coming back. Got no more magic. Is he wavering still? No. Why is it flashing then? No! No! Fuck! Fuck! 
the biggins are back, dude. Fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, Scrag. Come on, Scrag. Lead. Why are we doing so little damage at this point? Come on. Chew him out. Chew him. Knock him down. I feel like this is definitely a win, but like how long is this going to fucking take? Jesus Christ. Break already, Greenskins. No, don't lose any more fucking units. Get fucked. Heal? Heal? Oh! Fuck. You know what? I'm actually gonna heal the Gorgers. Because it's gonna put their, their healing back up to, like, enough to keep that unit from uh, from shattering. The other guys don't need it. We're too far in the battle for them to be able to do enough damage. Wait, what about Wurzak? He's still fucking alive! I knew it! Fuck! Okay, right. We gotta... Okay. We gotta take... We gotta get our boys on him now. That's what's fucking been happening. Alright, uh... Fuck! Push, 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 push. Get... We gotta get... We gotta get Scrag and the Hunter on him, like, now. He's got... They got both of them alive! That's what it was! Get fucked! You're not going anywhere. Slow him down. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Scrag, you're decent in melee. Get him. Okay. Get him. Get him, 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 get him. Don't walk around him. Fucking smack. Beat his shit in. Come on. Come on, Scrag. Come on, Scrag. Come on, little Scraggy. Oh, my God. Fuck, damn it. Come on. No, go after him. Scrag, ignore everybody. Go after him. Go after him. They're low. Hunter will be good against them. That's good. Fuck, more biggins? No, okay, good. This is a hell of a fight. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him down. Get him down, get him down, get him down. Crump him down, boys! That's Rucker! A smell game! The endless hunger! The hostile of the moon! Knock him down! Beat him up! Alright, we're, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is a pyrrhic victory I've ever seen one. Get fucked! Woo! Man, it's a good job Gorgeous are unbreakable. Holy shit! Wow! All right, now we just chase him down and get every heal we possibly can. Oh. God damn, dude. The ultimate hunter. What do you get for being Warzag, by the way? What's Warzag's defeat trait? Is it good? Oh wait, I think I'm wasting my time by chasing these guys down, but fuck it. This entire battle was premium Okoi moment. Hey, you know what? This was a good fight. Uh, if I was out in the open, their archers would have killed me completely. It would have taken a long ass time. Can I just like javelin the dick off this guy? Get fucked. <laughs> He's really accurate. Holy shit. Get nailed. Uh. <laughs> it's like seconds before. <laughs> Man. Good fight. 10% physical resistance. Really? 421 kills. 3,700. We chewed him out. We only lost one unit of gorgers. A lot of them have got their, all of their healing back because they didn't actually lose too many entities. We didn't lose either of our hunters. I would call that a pretty solid win, all things considered. Physical resist, not great, but better than most. Yeah, there was some terrible, terrible defeat traits compared to that one. Yeah, 10% physical resistance. That's not bad. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's like kind of in the middle. Maybe we just buff the crap out of our Golgers. 
Level two bone crusher and another level up for him. Such Fuck it. Promises. Some good level ups to the boys. The tankier these guys are, the better. So. Gutsy. I oh, man, I wish that mobility thing stacked. Oh, fuck. All right. Can you give the gorgers a big chorf hats? Uh, I mean, I technically could, but that's the like a very strange request. Oh, that tyrant. Okay, 100% they're gonna take Barrack Bar and destroy this faction next turn. It's not even close. But if I give them Branka Hills, they'll survive. Huh. They will provide me a more. It hungers. Maybe we just, do we just give them Varenka Hills? It cools. After, ah, oh, got it. See, I don't want to, like, we've, we've put way too much time investment for them to loot, for them to die right now. So maybe we just give them Varenka Hills and maybe they'll be on. like, Yes. What will you give and me for Varenka Hills? If I give you Varenka Hills, will you be day. doing my list? Yes, here we go. Trade agreement. Defensive alliance. Money and 2,500. Bam. So now we can replenish while in their territory for pretty much the same amount that we would have for owning the thing and they'll survive and we have a military alliance with them now. Woo! Hungry. Always hungry. Good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit, good shit. I'll eat any challenger. Uh, can you uh, exchange units with Matorka camp? Because 770 recruitment, 55 upkeep. Can you trade units with a camp? You can, right? Am I nuts or can you do that? You can, yeah. Good, 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 good. Right, so in the meantime, I'll recruit more of them in this camp. And then we'll just filter them in. Because they're cheap as fuck too. 770, 55 upkeep. In the meantime, so we're, we're getting good units in our garrison defense. If we need it. Oh, Hell yeah. Actually, I might go around this side. Although we could just take Barrack Dwez bag. Oh man, stupid fucking bloody hands. It's fucking up my diplomacy stream. Yes, it's a good way to store units you don't need. Uh, they have reduced upkeep. Yeah. Oh fuck, see they're attacking him. Damn it. Fuck. Show more against the fuck that. What? They're, they'll just fucking attack me. My praise, mighty scrag. Oh, the gorgers have picked up a scent. Oh, there is fresh meat to be had. Okay, this Follow would be huge for us. But there is no way we win that fight unless we've got a full army of gorgers. I could barely beat that scrag. with like a. You know, with a very good army, so I'm worried about that. Okay, I'm not too worried that they're gonna take it, but it's faster if we go this way. Five units of trolls, bunch of stuff. Oof, what's the garrison looking like? Okay, let's just hope that they do that classic uh, thing that they do. Okay, this is great. One more turn and we can trade the gorgeous into our army after we get that unit, that replenishment. And then we can go uh, and attack the uh, Uglux Chosen. As long as they don't kill them this turn, but at least they won't die. We have to help the boys. Any diplomacy things? We're still low reliability. That sucks. Alright. Military access with the Border Princes? Eh, right. Or fuck it. it is yep. Maybe they'll Sigma's run through us will. for something. Aye. You may Take another aggression pack with Zuffbar. All right. Get stuck in people to like us. A Avalind I don't give a fuck about because I still think we should move up and attack Avalind and then attack the uh, Fungal, the Carrot Curtain Dwarves and just occupy this whole region and then maybe give it to um, the Golden Order to get a second ally. All right. This is, feels like such a unique campaign. My gut is law. 
never fights. Sorry, this is fully upgraded. It's, it's gonna be plenty of turns before we need growth. God, look at our fucking money! 3.2k per turn, baby! Awesome. You know what? We might as well fucking build an outpost. What if we build in- uh, actually, I'm not building in Barrack Farm. I might lose it next turn. Fuck that. Steel and low reliability. Yeah, that'll fade, though. Let's just hope that, um, they do that classic AI thing and they don't- No! Fuck! Yeah, they attacked them. They're dead. Well, not they're not dead, but they took their city off them for sure. Oh, no! No, they sacked it! Hey, and they started building an outpost somewhere in Ekendorf. That's awesome. Keep us sweet. Fuck yeah, dude. We could even recruit a couple of dwarf the units boss. for fodder if you wanted to. All right. So now we go over here. We trade ourselves some Gorgers. We, then we got 17 out of 20. We get any more Gorgers? Wait, what? Oh, right. Two turns and then we're full. Nice. Of the ever hungry mouth. Uh, what does this give us? Leadership uh, in the... <laughs> leadership in the influences. I just realized how useless that is for Gorger armies. Is Ok Okoi seriously going to use the Ogre's worst unit? Yes, because they're so cheap, dude. 91, man. They're not the worst unit. Have you, like... Hmm, what's the worst unit? What? They might be the worst unit, though. For the Ogre Kingdoms. Now that I'm thinking about it, they might be the worst unit. Noblars are cheap as fuck, though. Like, and they, they can hold on for a little bit. Ally missions. Oh, shit! Ally missions. I forgot about this. Defeat Grim... Defeat the army... Grimfang. What Grimfang? Oh shit, there's another army there? Oh shit. Oh no, you just can't see him. Fuck it. Let's get that mission. Uh. For the so they're probably gonna go back and take Barak Var on the next turn. I will. I will. They always seem to do I that will. shit. Maybe we got a second army full of fodder, too. Maybe bring back, um, Gar. And then recruit... Uh, huh. Uh, hmm. What would be a good unit for a secondary army? Tyrant. Maybe a saber tusk army with a bunch of hunters? Oh my! Bro, I don't know. Maybe a noble army. We'll see. Beastman doggo army. We clearly need an outpost with the dwarves so our ogre boys can airdrop <laughs> in with gyrocopters. Actually, yeah. When can I make another camp? Have I been able to do a ca another camp this whole time? Uh oh. Uh. I'm tempted to not. <laughs> now fuck it. Watch my reliability go down when I get dragged into a war with them. Ally mission aborted? Wait, why? Oh. Are so you fucking goes kidding me? You have got to be fucking kidding me. God fucking damn it. How, did, how much do they like me? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Gifts given. Oh, okay. They do like me. Just not that much. Fuck! Yeah! Oh, not aggression yeah. packs. Uh, honored dwarf. Go on, then. Fuck, oh, dude. Oh, oh my god. 
We gave so much territory to them. What the fuck? Is he just raiding my shit? Why is he over in Ekendorf? He's not going to be able to beat that that um, garrison. Well, time to curry favor with the uh, other uh, dwarf faction, I guess. We'll make we'll be able to make the dwarves love us. They're also doing very good. They're actually beating back. Um, it looks like they're winning against uh, ya boy, little Skarsnick guy. So maybe we uh, wipe them out of Dokkaraz, take out Gork's Chosen, and then uh, maybe take back Barakvar if they take that. If we can win that fight, <laughs> because I'm I'm losing faith in these in these Gorgers. As I said, they are very squishy. Leader of the Although we are in range of our camp bull, so maybe we'll be okay. Actually, in my honor. maybe we should go for a mixed army. Maybe maybe a hundred percent Gorgers is not the right idea. Lead belchers and Gorgers, maybe. I don't know. Start over. <laughs> not starting over. Fuck that. Yeah, they're probably gonna lose Barakvar because I'm pr pretty sure they're still at war with Barakvar, right? No, they're not. They're not at war with Barakvar. Oh man. Um. Hi. Will you guys join war against them? Maybe. Ooh, they. 5k? Okay, not worth it. Okay, ah, damn it. See, I'm a war with them. That's the fucking problem here. My God, is law. They're gonna start fucking with me. Gonna be over, tyrant, one day. I don't want them to mess with me. That would suck. Damn, what's the move here? What's the move here? We have the, okay. We have the 2020 army. I don't think it's strong enough to beat this this banner. But what if they like fucking attack our camp while I'm attacking these these purples? Well, we'll kill this guy. I'm worried, dude. Wait, why did we miss in a building in Eckendorf? What did I delete? Wait, what did I delete in Eckendorf? Oh wait, we can get rid of the, the growth buildings. Okoy is super dead. I'm not dead. We're fine. What did I fucking delete here? Fill the camp with cheap ogres. No, that's what we doing. The boss. Slowly filling it up with ogres. Um. Hmm. I want to build goddamn muck trenches. Got the money shit. Get rid of the growth buildings. The growth provides like casualty replenishment rate fine, but we've already got good casualty replenishment rate. Uh, oh, I don't know, dude. I'll get fucked. I hate it when they don't have a... See, because this guy's going to fucking run away now. And he's going to get so far away. It just leveled up to level three. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Duh. Oh, stop it, dude. Marius, I'm not going to attack you yet. Don't worry about it. Tyrant. Okay, garrison building garrison building wait wait why are those garrison buildings different oh because it's not like the fuck oh whatever does this make it a settlement battle as what defenses the settlement battle for here will be an unwalled settlement battle nice sweet uh we're still this this province is pretty unhappy actually maybe we just build a yeah 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 bip, bip, bip. all right we're good Wait, if I take this guy, are, we gonna, are they gonna pull get pulled in? No. Dude. 
Free win! Why win? Free level up? Free spells? Upgraded Bull Gauger would be great. Because then it's stupidly cheap. Okay, buff the boys as much as we can. I want this Gorger Onslaught, like, section. Just joined? Is this a model that has a realm? Dude, who the hell plays a uh, realm? Does, does anybody actually still play realm? Like, at all? Thank you. God I now. haven't played a realm of, uh, realm of Chaos campaign since, like, two months before Immortal Empires released. Like, I I have not played one in a long, long time. I've heard that they've rebalanced it to be less frustrating, but I just hate the portal system. I hate portals appearing in my territory. I hate it. It's not fun. I know you can, like, stop it happening by building buildings, but it's still just so annoying. Maybe we just push it. We can pull them out of their town. As reinforcements. And then maybe we can just ambush the reinforcements, right? Nice. <laughs> yes! Woo! Easy. Easy clap. Easy clap. Now we occupy it, then we give it to the dwarves. So they like us even more. Because we don't want it because it's uninhabitable. Fuck that place. Get me the fuck out of here. We're not allied though, so I'm not going to be able to replenish, but that's fine. Fuck it. We didn't even lose a single unit. That's what I'm talking about. You can pick up Meat Cleaver. Uh, troll Guts would be pretty fucking huge right now. Walking Lauder would be great. God damn. Winds of Magic Powers have changed 30% when increasing. That's good. That's really good. Uh, maybe if we get like extra units, I'll probably get like beast units, like like mounted units or something. Oh, the mall could be good though. Shit, dude. Troll guts, fuck it. Troll guts is too good to not. Keeps the boys alive. Rats, rats. Oh. All right. We're getting up there. Wait, what are they? What the fuck was that pop up? Oh, we can issue an edict. Oh, that's no point. All right, now we give it to these boys. Yes. Uh, Force of Gloom. Yes. Fuck yeah, dude. Defensive Alliance, Trade Agreement, and another a military access. And 4,000 gold. Oh, Let's foul. fucking go. They fucking... 200! Let's fucking go. They like us even more than the other guys. Yes. All right. It's all coming together. Sigma. All right. Defensive lines with the Border Princess. They're almost dead. Fuck. That's a bad idea. Nice. So we can still replenish. And the replenishment is higher than if we actually owned the, the goddamn province. Obey me! We're getting there. We're really getting there. Stop till everything's mine. Uh, I might build a Mon Fan Cage. We have to wait until we get 16. That's 2,800 a turn. That's enough. Also, we get Thunder Charge when we're in, in ranged. Wait, damage per second 24 for 4 seconds in a 7 meter radius. Movement speed 12 meters per second? What? What is this? Like a mighty thunderstorm, like us, the battle for the stone hunts are born towards. What the hell is this? I've never used this. This is what this is what I mean by like camps are so mid. Like because that you're never in the radius of high level camps because once you've built, wasting gold. Wait, why am I wasting gold? Why am I wasting gold? What's going on? I What did I do? It's 
sweet. Firecaster? Wind spell? It's a wind spell? Dude. It hungers. All right. Okay, uh, we can build a thingy. We'll build it in Karakakaz. Karakakaz and Karakakaz. 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 Fuck! I just realized this is fucking pointless now. Fuck yeah. Diplomatic relations plus 40 with a dead faction that doesn't exist anymore. Nice. Wait, unless it passed over to the to the to these guys? Rulers tolerance, recent events. Nope. Nope. A wasted so, quest. Nice. Yes. Dude, those dead guys really love us now. Hell yeah, dude. Looks like Wurzak's too afraid to attack us because he's a little baby man. So that's good. Pointless. All right. Hopefully he won't attack us. And we can focus on fighting Wurzak now. What does he want? Join war against Clanverse. No fucking way because I non-aggression fat with him. I'm not making that mistake again. The dwarves already love our fat ass. I'm not making him happy by joining a war for free. Throw a face in my honor. All right. That's going to rebel 100%. All right, sweet. Let's get over. We're, we've got military access and a defensive alliance with these guys. So we can go. Oh, fuck. I should have gone to Barra's. Oh my god, Barag Dawazbag. Fuck me. They will feel the hunger. All mine. Yeah, we're good. It's pretty fucking cool um having allies, honestly. Like it's such an underrated facet of Total War games. Because the AI is so unreliable in mid. Oh you little bitch! You little bitch, I swear to- Oh god, if this guy attacked us south of- Like, southwest of Matorka in- Near Zvorak he, Wait, are they at war with him? Oh, he's gonna take Zvorak. Okay, well, the Border Princes are dead. The Border Princes are definitely dead. Feastmaster died? Yep, the Feastmasters got killed by, uh, Wurzag, I think. We were very- we were very saddened. I don't know, check the name of the Dwarf in Barak Var. Okay. Yanni Groby Nutter. Ew. Does that mean that he nuts in grop in 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 Grobies? What are Grobies? Those are goblins, right? That's what the uh That's what the dwarves call call goblins, right? Grobies? Water clear, bloody hands on the character. There we go. There we fucking go, dude. Wait. Uh Shit, who do we attack? Oh, no, you do not. Oh my god, he's going for us. Little bitch. You little bitch. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna... 25%. Okay, here's the plan. Ambush sense. He, we bait him in. We kill him. He doesn't have he doesn't have the move range to attack us this turn. If he does, he'll pull us in, I think. Yeah, we can get a little bit further at ambush dance. He comes in. He's an idiot. He gets pulled in, we kill him. Or we quickly run out and kill him after he doesn't have enough move range. Sorted. Wait, can we build another camp yet? I feel like we we can definitely build another camp. I should have built another camp by now. Yep. Fuck! Can, do, can, do you, you can build camps within the radius of another camp, right? Like, it doesn't have- as long as they're not touching, you can build them super close, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, maybe we build one, like, over here in the Forest of Gloom Varenka Hills area? Because the more money we get, Right now, the better. Dude, look at the growth in the camp, by the way. A hu an extra 100 because we did that quest. So it's at 19. So <laughs> it's gonna get like way past 40. So if we actually make 10K, we can get it up to tier four. 
All right, let's see if we can bait them in. Love watching Okoi. He he is as dumb as I am. Good to know, my guy. I I, I I'm trying to be the everyman, I guess. But I think it just comes naturally because I'm I'm just that incompetent. <laughs> Where's this fucking guy going? Can I attack him? Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, don't run. Yes! Oh, wait, he's in March stance. Never mind. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No! No, 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 I really don't want to get attacked by that buck, buckthorn guy. Oh no. Um. Yeah, we're out of range. I might as well wash chance actually. Wait, was that unnecessary? I might as well have just stayed in the water and then. Uh, no, because it takes you a turn to get out of the water anyway. Never mind. Okay, it's unnecessary to build that shit. Let's just save money. All right. Going well. Oh, the Crooked Moon would like a non-aggression pact. I guess that's because we're strength rank 10, maybe. The character Dwellers want a non-aggression pact. They still want some stuff. We're back up to high reliability, though. Dude, the, the amount of options that open when your reliability is high. Satosa want a peace treaty. I'll take it. I'll take it. There's no reason to be threatened down in the bottom left. The Border Princess probably won't like that, but who cares? We have screen grins to focus on. Okay, hello. Are you... Use some mod for font. Font? No. All the fonts the same. I'm using vanilla font. Nothing different. What do you actually get for uh, trained beasts? Ravenous fighters? Oh, melee attack, weapon strength, and missile resistance. Oh, 15% missile resistance for gorgeous. Oh my god, that would be so good. All right. Is, is crippling throw actually good? Yeah, no, it cooled out of 90 seconds. Last 30 seconds reduces melee defense and speed. That's not terrible, but I feel like you would have to land the hit. I feel like the AI has a an issue where they just miss a lot. Fifteen percent missile resistance also when the giants. Giant Noon stack incoming. Oh man, that's actually a good point. 15% stacked with their original 50% for 30% missile resistance. And then if you get... Can't you get a, def a Lord Defeat trade that increases missile resistance for your whole army or something? I feel like somebody has something OP like that. Oh fuck, where's Zag's Egg's back? Oh. Alright, where's Egg? Wolfheart? Marcus Wolfheart? Yeah, that would be nuts. The only problem is he's on the other side of the fucking planet. <laughs> no! Maybe? That's not so bad. Oh, dude. Dude, imagine the... Okay, after we've, like, shut down the dwar uh, the orcs, maybe we go north and deal with the, uh, the vampire counts. Kill all the vampire counts, and then the Empire will fucking love us. Right? That sounds like a plan, like a good plan. Can I ambush dance my way there so they don't see me? Wait, what happened up Ranka Hills? Oh, Skaven. <laughs> oh no. Barrack Farm must have their hands full. Don't they have more than one army? No, they have just Thorgrim. They basically uh, pushed in the Crooked Moon's bussy. 
Man, the Skaven, the clan verms are actually giving them some trouble. They own Iron Rock, Carrig Drawn. They, they, no, that's, uh, Clan Rictus. They've now taken Varenka Hills. Maybe we should declare war on them. And really fuck our, uh, reliability rating up again. Rats, rats, here come the rats. Oh, that would suck. If they get wiped out by the rats, that would suck. Morgo gives 15% missile resistance. Is that to your lord, though, or is that to your whole army? Because uh, it has to say for your entire army, for the lord's entire army. It can't be just, like, for units. Oh. I don't really want a defensive alliance with this guy because we're going to get dragged into all kinds of wars and shit. Ambush foiled. What is our actual chance of winning that? We're one level away from... You know what we could have fucking... Okay, remind me to get Lightning Strike because Lightning Strike would be huge... Well, I mean, it's useless in this context, but... For the wisdom of the land. Okay, Thorgrim's coming. Hey, Thorgrim's coming. That's good. Man, I love it when Thorgrim comes. When Thorgrim... <laughs> I love it when Thorgrim comes uh, on the Greenskins. Comes over to the Greenskins. Comes on to the Greenskins. I mean, is what I mean. Fuck. Clan Worms want us to eliminate some dude. Golden Order want us to kill... The Dwarves? Ooh, huge. And Zuffbar want us to kill... Engelbert Zoo Bissendorf. Who the fuck is that? They want us to kill a fucking 14th century silly German man? I think that we might actually be able to do this one. We get meat, we get diplomatic relations with the... Okay, that supports the plan that we were going to do anyway. I like that. Any challenger. Bam, 10k. Okay, what do, you, what do you guys think of this fight? Forget it. My Kupano right. We get Blood and Roll. Get our melee type back up. How many, how many range units does he have? Four units of Goblin Archers and then something else. Ugh. Dude, if Gorges were as strong as they used to be, I would be so confident, but I'm just not. Don't forget to build a second camp. Fuck! Um, where do I build it? Naturally. I might just take a, take a seat back and just build a new camp. Okay, how about that? We'll do that. I'm just gonna do that instead. You're too close to a settlement. Fuck! Alright, I'm just gonna build it like here. In the, in this, I'm gonna build it in the crevice. In the Black Fire Pass. And then we're gonna do the quest battle. I'm gonna try and do that quest battle because if I get that cauldron, it's gonna make my dude so much more effective. But something tells me I'm not gonna be able to win it. Ooh. Fuck it. Oh wait, Monfangs aren't actually that good. Monfangs are not because they have terrible melee stats. But uh, if we can get some crushers down, crushers would be great. Crushers are not to be trifled with. They are very strong. Up north near the vampires in the little pass, maybe. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You're gonna get your shit pushed in? You can take them trolls. You can take them trolls have bad leadership. I'm not worried about the trolls. I'm worried about the goblin archers. Because melee units I'm, are never really that much of an issue if you've got high tier units. It's the, it's the low quality archers because in my opinion, archers do too much damage. Ranged units individually do too much damage because they can only have like a minimum damage value of like one first shot. They still do too much damage. I think every single ranged unit in the game that is like inf every single infantry based ranged unit in the game needs a slight nerf. Just a little bit, like like a 10% damage bu uh, debuff to what they normally do. Just a 10% just a missile damage debuff across the board. Because archers can take down, like, like, like Empire archers can take down Grisus like he's nothing. It is time. I know that there's supposed to be like, you know, buffs and counters, but I think that they just don't, they just do too much. Uh, Karakurn on aggression pack, no. Lamian Sisterhood. 
Oh fuck, they're far away. Nubby Nutter loves crushers. Y Yanny Grubby Nutter loves busting nuts and grubbies, dude. That's what he likes doing. He's nasty as fuck. Bam! Second camp. Up and running. And... Growth. And then money. And then we'll go from there. All right, I want to see are we in the radius for this camp? We are I don't think you get camp benefits, but let's just try this quest battle, right? Also, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna put the uh, in-game music on for a bit instead of my music Fuck it. We'll switch it up for a bit. I want to hear the, the in-game music for these fights anyway All right also, while this intro plays, Pyrrhic victory with medium casualties. Okay, a bunch of anti lodge, uh, scaven infantry, wall lightning cannons, and a lot of ranged. Wow, okay, so this has literally been. Oh my fucking god, it's all anti lodge. Gutter runners, gutter runners, slingers. Plague Claw Catapults, Poison Wing Globideers, the anti-large variant of the, the, the Globideer kind, Warp Lightning Cannons that are anti-large, anti-large Stormworm with Halboats. There's no fucking way we win this. In no universe do we win this. God damn. All right, I'm going to do, I'm going to go piss while this plays. Hold on. I don't like that name. Hold on. Wait, how do you add fucking... Hold on. Uh... Can I change this to... Hey, there we go. How the fuck do you outline this shit? Oh, there we go. Oops. <laughs> it's like impossible to read. I, I shouldn't be optimizing my fucking font right now. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. How do you change the- oh, there we go. There we go. All right, back in a minute. Uh, that looks awful long. <laughs> Hold on, let me increase the font size, because like... I think that's the problem. That's why it looks low, like so low res. Give you a piss break. All right, you guys can watch this cutscene. Then I'm oh God. I remember this being a very funny fucking cutscene. I'm a hold on. <laughs> That's gonna be misleading. <laughs> Make it slimmer. What do you mean? What do you mean slimmer? Like that? Bigger? <laughs> I just nobody knows what the fuck's happening. You could have auto resolved. You could, it's a quest battle. You can't auto resolve quest battles. You're literally not allowed to. Oh, the lack of the uh, music in the loading screens is very awkward. All right. It's all here in my pot. Just scamper over and jump in. <laughs> oh, more. They hang back. <laughs> it's a, it's a rat trap. <laughs> no, no. I ain't trapped here with them. 
No, no, they're trapped there with me. Boy, he does. He sure does love taking breaks. What the fuck? No, dude, they're gonna shoot the fuck out of my gorgeous. God damn it. God, what's a good way to win this fight? I remember this fight being extremely fucking difficult because there's no way to like get there without getting discovered and having all your shit rocked. Like I want to keep all my units like stealth. Maybe we can like bait them. Hold on. What if we like keep our stuff stealth, route all of their clan rats, try and keep our shit under wraps so he doesn't get shot, get our gorges around, hit their shit in the back. No! Oh, that's fine. They're hitting like other stuff. Fuck. Oh, fuck. That's fine. That's fine. Just, just fight him. What can we? Oh, fuck you, plate claws, dude. At least they're not like anti-lodge plate claws, like projectile things. Slow them down. We just and we just fucking stealth our way over here. All of our shit is stealth. They hit their own units like morons. We waste all of their spawns and we just keep them moving left and right. Fuck! Come on, Storm Vermin. Be cool about this, man. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Those poison wind globe ears are gonna fuck us up. Dude, there's no. How the fuck do you win this? What do you mean they've sprung a trap? Again? They've sprung another trap again? They could at least give you a chance to get through. Wait, what if we just like. Hold on. What if we just like sneak past? I want I, those dude those fucking wall lightning cannons Eat absolute shit. Did they just cast on my why can they see me fuck? Fuck it. All right, we'll take these guys out first maybe bait them out if we just get what if we just get out of range of their of their cannons Are they gonna camp like total assholes? Fuck 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 Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, oh no. Get on their fucking slingers and range. Go, no, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. Use your mass. Use your big mass. Dodge, dodge. Fuck, man. Uh, oh. Uh. I need to regen a little bit here. Go, 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 move, 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 move. Okay, they're coming in with a lot of that shit. We'll get out of range of those units. All right, I'll send like some of these back, right? Like we'll send a contingent around the back. Fuck, this is hard, man. Oh man, dude, my boys in the middle are getting fucked up. Okay, just move it out there. Go. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. That's huge. Run, 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 run. No, kill those skirmish troops. Kill those skirmish troops. Uh. Okay, you know what? Actually, that's a bad idea. We need the majority of our guys over here, so I'll send these two. Like that. Get these guys over. Ah! Uh, run, run, skirmish, skirmish, skirmish. Oh God! Bruh, those gutter runners can eat my ass. I will. Oh wait, no, no, slow him down, slow him down. Nice. Get him. Here we go, like that. Get away from those poison winds as fast as we fucking can. 
Oh fuck, okay, I need to heal. Troll guts on Scrag. What the fuck? What? Why did that happen? Fuck! Oh, well, they're dead. God damn it! Oh my god, no! Run, 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 you're unbreakable, you're unbreakable, you can survive, just keep running. Alright, they've been routed, they've been routed, just push off. They're gone, they're gone, they're shattered. Get a troll guts down on your boy. Bam! Uh, put the miscast base chance up on this fucking guy, I guess. Oh, no, they're fighting rat ogres, right. Oh my god, yeah, they're dead. They're fucking so dead, dude. God damn it! Alright, wolf lightning cannons are done. Get back, get back. Run! Just stay out of it. Okay, moment. At least those three were promoted. I. Uh, where are the fucking poison winds? Because that's what I'm worried about here. God, there, there they are. Poison winds are so fucking strong, dude. Oh, he did. He did whole dick. The floor are fine. No, what are they? Okay, that's just like gutter runners and shit. All right, fuck it. Commit. Commit. Overwhelm them. Overwhelm them. Two units here. There we go. One there. We just gotta inter we're gonna get on them like now. Uh Toothcracker maybe? What are they? Stall vermin? Nope, bad idea. Wait, that's a good point. Where are their stall vermin? Uh Where are their stall vermin? Fist. Good old fist. Yes, uh, this could be worse. I'll slap a troll guts on these gorgers. Let's slow. Let's just slow everything down. Down the death runners. Hit the poison globe guys. All right, now turn around and just engage everything. Go, 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 go. The star of the meat pot. Go, go, attack, attack, attack. Ah! We can just re-recruit more, I guess. Alright, we're Fuck. Oh, they're good, they're good. That's good casts, I guess. This could be going worse. Master Seeker. Slice the meat! Alright. Uh. Nice, 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 nice. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, we're winning. We're winning. We're so close. Woo! Fuck! Man, that was hard. We actually didn't do too, too bad. We lost like two full units, which means I'm gonna have to re recruit them, but. That's fine. I don't know if that was Pyrrhic. I really, I don't know if that was Pyrrhic. I, we lost two units against like a pretty much an entire anti-large army and we had units that were just a little bit weak, honestly, since they like, they're in desperate need of a buff. Either in survivability or just in making their damage ridiculously good. Regen from combat would also be good, but I feel like that would maybe make them too strong. What do you guys think? Bye. Nice. Okay, we got the cauldron. That's huge. That is actually huge. Oh, and gorge. Okay, good stuff. Awesome. Given my visions. Uh, protection of the Great Maul. Cooldown minus 15% for spells. God damn, winds of power magic reserve plus two per turn for the whole army. Ooh. Uh. Okay. 
Gorger Onslaught could be good. How long do they last? That's my always my problem with these summon abilities. Like it, they don't last that long at all. I think I think summoned units should last about double their current time. They're always so expensive. Like, and they, they're only really valuable in short engagements in like multiplayer and stuff. I never seem to be able to make them that useful. Because the summon range is always so short too. So like the best you can do is what? Maybe summon them behind the lines to chase down a ranged unit? Gorgers needed their nerf. You could turn your brain off and win with them. Yeah, no, dude. They needed a nerf, but they got way over nerfed. It's too much. They went from being like st stupidly tanky and stupidly damaging, like able to out damage like warbear riders and shit they have no business beating to being killed by like almost everything. Such butchery. They just need the dial needs turning back in the good direction for these fellas. Just a smidge. I'm not saying they need to be like, you know, made super OP or whatever again, but just tweak them up a little bit. Just a smidge. Regen and Unbreakable would be crazy and I'm all for it. Yeah, but then they'd be too OP. If they at least if they had like the the vari the variant of it where um called it like called it like uh Ravenous Hunger or something. And or blood greed or whatever the fuck it makes sense for them they're like ravenous bloodthirsty ogres that are like have been literally driven mad by their insatiable appetite um so give them regen but only when they're in melee combat and only by like 0.10 percent because then you're exaggerating i smashed the wood elves in my last campaign with a gorger scrag uh stack on scrag you'll see how much stronger they get yeah no no, no. I, I mean they get a bit stronger when you get the item that's true That is true. Replenishes the hit points. Yeah, this basically giving them regen. Wait, does it give them regen or does it give, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Replenishes the hit points of combatants map-wide if they're, uh... If they're, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they get 0.20% regen and then 0. Point, well, and then 20% buff to their damage and shit like that. We just gotta get old Scraggy some kills. Oh shit, new big names. Uh Calls Terror. Calls Terror is better than 40% charge bonus during sieges. Doi. Gorges are fine. Yeah. I guess. Maybe they just take more micro. Maybe maybe I got too comfortable with them being as strong as they were. They're still good for, for Scrag. I, I just think they need a little bit of a buff. They're not worth taking a multiplayer. Ask any multiplayer guy uh, at all, and they will tell you they do not perform that well for the amount that they cost. Like, for the same price, you can bring better units. Like uh, Iron Guts, who just received a buff themselves. Uh... Of the ever oh man! Now. I gotta spend turns recruiting. What if? More meat for my grinder. Ooh. Shit's getting cheap. This is nice. Squash him. Oh wait. Oh fuck, wait, did I accept this quest? I think I accepted the wrong one. God damn it. Yeah, I did. I accepted the wrong one. God damn it, when did I do that? Did anybody even notice that? I could have sworn I clicked on the correct one. I think Warhammer 3 needs a separate balance system like Elden Ring. Yeah, I agree, dude. That's a, that's a super good take. Because then you can like let it rip in the single player a little bit like it doesn't matter if units are a little bit OP you know what I mean Multiplayer is a whole different base although it is it is good for uh, balancing the game in a vacuum though because there's never a, Like you can still make units crazy OP on the campaign map It's not like it stops you from being able to make units super strong. I'm, I'm gonna build these just to stop that pop-up Prophet of the great 
All right, so with the cauldron, with mostly Silvatir Gorgiris, we should be good, right? I haven't even tried to play these guys yet. After watching this vid, I might give them a try. Dude, ogres are so underrated. They also are a little bit underpatched and under the developed and stuff, but they and they only have two legendary lords, and one of the legendary lords is the worst legendary lord in the whole game. But they're big and they smash stuff and they're fun and they have some good mechanics. Like this. Also, if you like diplomacy, they're great. Joe Moore gets no stop. Should I though? Do I how do I check to see if I have a uh Agreement with uh, Clan Verms, though. Nah, I'm just I'm not risking my reliability relating tanking. I'm pretty sure I, I I signed a peace treaty with them. So if you declare war right after signing a peace treaty, then they hate you, right? Clan Anger and Confederate. Fuck! Oh man, that sucks. Well, I can still attack the vampire counts. After we've dealt with Greeny Boy. Fuck! Fucking underway stance, dude! The boss. Can I get in the range without. Find me flesh. Oh my god, is that in the range or not? Yeah, it is. Yes, more. If this if this tries to zone me, I'm outside of the Oh wait, never mind. We're good. <laughs> We're good. We're good. Gets me what I want. Gets me what I want. I haven't seen the AI recruiting any 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 ogre mercs. Kind of offended. I don't go under ogres are under DLC'd. Yeah, honestly, I'm but they're they're up there with like Norska right now. But whereas like they are good, they ha they're effective. They have enough tools, but like they are desperately in need of legendary lords and uh they're just a little bit underwhelming like there's just a couple of things like they could do with some buffs like their faction traits suck for the yoga kingdoms i don't know they could do with some tweaks all scrap collectors for, us, for all of us when is their wad gonna Later fail already tribe. shit man They might get some old world units. Yeah, well, they need the Thunder Tusk, which is my favorite looking unit in the entire Warhammer uh, Fantasy universe. I fucking love how the Thunder Tusk looks. It, it is super cool. Just a giant metal tusked mammoth. They're, they're, they're so goddamn cool. Oh, I'm, I'm still like planning a tattoo Tyrant of a Thunder Tusk. Like a Thunder Tusk like face, you know, with the tusks and shit. In charge. Oh, the tyrant. Uh, <laughs> did they fucking underway back? Drop they did. God, they're such little bitches. Little babies. The little more. babies. I go oh more. Scrag, silver, sermon. Onward to the ball. Why? I wonder whether they're not attacking Barrack Wall. Like, this has been open, easily siegeable by them. They've got, like, an army and a wog stick. Like, why not just attack? Oh, I don't have a fucking garrison building here. That's why they keep trying to attack it. It's worth it. Oh god. Remove supply line CA. They suck. It's whispers. You're going to get a face tattoo of a thunder tusk? No, what the fuck? No, a, a tattoo of like a thunder tusk's face and, and tusks and like horns and shit. Not on my face, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, imagine that. I get a, a, t a tattoo of a, a of a thunder tusk face on my face. Man, I would look so mentally ill. I'd like to see a Cathay and Ogres DLC. Yeah, yeah. 
I'd even be happy with a with an FLC, you know, like Gawk Iron Skin FLC alongside like a cafe and wait, is the fucking piss break th thing still on? No, God damn it, it's just my my things like rolled back. Oops. <laughs> oh, they want peace. Oh, he wants peace now. Get fucked. I hate how cowardly the AR are with such a passion. Like, look at this shit. He's back over the fucking thing again because I left Matorka. And he's like, oh, it's undefended. I don't actually have to find anybody. I'm a massive pussy. This is perfect. Eat shit. Well, I might as well. There we go. And then. Fuck, I don't know. These are not cost effective, goddamn. Ugh. Just a bunch of Noblaws. God, trappers are so expensive. They should reduce the, the price of trappers and the price of regular Noblaws. Just about like 20%. They're so cheap. They're supposed to be like slaves. Like, fuck it. Their economy is fine. The province that Okoy uh, allowed the border princes to keep is filled with trade buildings. They give you tons of cash. Oh. Yeah, plus they're probably, they only have one settlement right now to the Border Princess, so they've probably got like two full, like, banners there. Okay, they might attack me actually. And my garrison does kind of suck. Oh, that's another thing. God damn it. They need to, they need to add in more regiments of renown. Like, Cathay, Cathay Kislev. And all of the Monogod Chaos factions all have shitty ass regiments of renown. And the Monogod Chaos ones can recruit all the ones from, you know, the Warriors of Chaos. So, like, they don't actually suck. But all the other factions do. It's unfair, man. Oh, we tried running away. Stinky little Warzag, stinky ass. Wait, did they not take Franco? Okay. As far as tattoos go Fuck Dude, I'm not I'm gonna be so pissed if I lose this fucking town. Oh my fucking god Yeah, he's got Savage Oak Biggins, Trolls, Boar Boy Biggins, Boar Boys, Archers. I don't think we win this. Fuck! Oh my god, that sucks. Trees for days? Cav might be a problem? The b I, okay, the biggins are the problem. Because the only killing power I have is with my... Um... Ogres. Should have built a wall law? I mean, I wouldn't have been able to build it in time anyway. But... Yeah. Oh, we have a unit of iron guts. Okay, that's huge. Okay, the unit of Iron Guts might carry this. They did, they recently got a buff. They have bonus for infantry now. They have 100 armor. Huh. Okay, we'll do something similar to what I did last time. Okay, so... Nobby's... Nobby's pull them in out of the trees. Keep our uh, trappers ready to attack any of the cav units. Keep our boy here. And we have all of our boys ready to come in from the sides and wrap around. Alright. So they should send their cav out first. Yes. Ranged cav. Good. And they're like, oh no, what do we do? Oh, let's run away. I don't want to get charged by those guys. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, we have army abilities and stuff. Fuck! Thunder charge. Yes, it is a breath attack. Nice. Okay, we got a breath attack and we got gluttony. Three uses of gluttony. Okay, that's gonna be huge. That's actually gonna be so good. What are they doing? Uh, My cleaver is sharp. Yes. 
Oh, nice. What the fuck? Why are they charging in a melee? <laughs> fuck. Okay, a couple of overcasted Flux of Doom, though. Ten wins of magic for an overcast. What does the overcast do? Extends cast range and effect duration. Okay, effect duration is worth it. Range is not worth it. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I'll get back in the trees, bud. I'm back. Oh man. Oh boy. Fresh. Oh jeez. Back him up more trees. Aye, 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 aye. God mouth's command. Fucking. Oh, both white biggins. Oh, they got 39. Oh boy. Not good for us. Okay, back into the trees more. They have trolls and stuff too, so they're gonna be slightly less effective in the trees also. Which is good. Oh, also keeping them on the hill is huge. Downhill advantage is no joke. <laughs> oh boy! Okay, and now we charge him in. Okay, we do it now. We do it now. Fuck it! We'll do it live! Oh wait, let's get all of their dudes in. Wait, hit there. In for the trolls. In for the trolls. In for the stone trolls. Um. Wait. Cav, cav, infantry. Are they really flanking me? Are you fucked? There's no way they're actually flanking. Alright, here we go. Uh, about here. Don't, don't, you dare get that shitty overcast debuff. Fuck, and they'll go to the Noblars immediately. Oh, can we get a good cast here? Like, here maybe? I don't know how long this takes to come in. What does this look like as well? I want to see it in slow motion. I've never seen this attack before oh oh yeah I have. oh shit oh fuck that's actually bomb we need to kill the savage rock biggins keep the trappers in reserve oh shit oh shit not good not good not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Here by here. Alright, I can keep him healed with the uh, gluttony. Uh, okay, kill the war boss. Not the war boss. Ah, uh, he's fucking. No! Leave us alone! Off we go. Fresh me. Wait, how, how much does healing does this do? 0 0.80 over... Damn, that is good, dude! No, no. Wow! That's way better than I thought it was. Oops. No, no, no. Oh, he's gonna need it because he's breaking. Good, 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 good. Other overcasts. This is rough. The slaughter This is going good. Alright, not going too bad. A lot of their infantry are routing off. They're getting very damaged. Infantry are doing great. Infantry are doing very good. One more overcast. Here? Fight the Oak Wobos! 
Get him. Ooh. Uh. Not there. Nope. Do not. Oh, god damn it! I hate that shit, dude. That actually did pretty good damage, even to like. Uh. Monstrous. Beat the brakes off him, boy. Good shit. All right, this is going well. Now we just gotta rat off the rest of their stuff. Anything that comes back. Oh, man. Tough one, though. They got all of them? Fuck it. My cleaver is sharp. Biggest in the tribe. I'm close to getting it. No, no, you don't. Glutton. Uh, 20, 14. Okay. Wait, hold on, mate. Got shell, boys. Where's my master? Man, trolls are hanging on. I thought they had that leadership. How the fuck have they got 32 Savage Rock Pole Ravens in a unit with that little heart? Nice, there they go. Mostly. Oh yeah. Oh no. Whatever. Fucking do not underestimate trappers. Trappers are great. Even in melee combat. Fuck yeah. Master of butchery. Hell yeah, dude. Nice turnaround, Okoy. What are you gonna turn around? We had that. We had that the whole time. Dude, I'm so impressed with how Ogre Bulls did look. 53, 50, 39. 345 value. These are just bulls. Regular ass bulls. No no bonuses, no nothing. Good ass boys. Uh, Beast Lords are amazing for supporting garrisons. Yeah, I'm just realizing that. I always. Uh, oh my god, yeah, they are. 3,700 value. Dude, Flock of Doom. Uh, Flock of Doom. Sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. Flock of Doom is so good, dude. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, what do we heal? Solar Master, duh. Bro is ogre burping. I know, I know. I know, I'm sorry. I know it's gross. What graphics card do you have, Okroy? I have a 3080 Ti. Yeah, Fl Flock of Doom used to be even better and then it got nerfed too, so... It used to be even better than it is. Which is wild. Your videos are good to show to my kindergarten class, right? Oh! Some of them are probably PG enough, honestly, like legit. Some of them were probably PG enough, especially before blood was added to like Warhammer 3 and shit. Uh, most of them, no. Definitely not. Heroic victory, that's what I'm talking about. What graphics card do I... Yeah, my, my fucking CPU is better than my graphics card, though, to be honest. I still have a top-of-the-line... Uh, 12800... X I nine something like that. Yeah, I nine twelve nine hundred K. Twelfth gen I nine. Shit's a beast. Adequate is a brap fiend. Any mods with this run? Yeah, yeah, yeah quite a few, quite a few. It would take so long to go through them all. Scepter of stability, 40% spell resistance. That kind of sucks. Ooh. Ooh, Thorgrim is actually. Ooh. There's no way I win that if I push it, right? 
Nah. <laughs> I love the ogre waddle. Don't need wild form. Toothy Nabla is great for defense. Inspiring presence. It's fucking fuck tons of Nablas. Screw it. You're gonna be 50% cheaper eventually. In like 50 turns. Ogre tyrant. Oh baby. Big money. Tyrant of the tribe. We gotta start earning more bank it though. Calls. Freedom to the more. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure we'll get a, uh, a pretty penny for this place. Wait, why don't I sack and occupy? Or like sack, then occupy, then give it away. Why am I wasting my time <laughs> occupying it peacefully? Such butchery it promises. Uh, nice. Nice, isn't it? Nice. I really should have put the um the hero level up mod thing. The forward. skill queue. I should have put the skill queue mod on. I made a mistake. Wait, Duck Carez. Alright. All here. Duck Carez. Give me money, please. Yes. 2700. Awesome. All right, and we can still regen while we're here. And then we can go up to Barrack Dwyer's bag and kill this big old piece of shit. All right. I love Radius mod, love the increase in units. Yeah, I like Radius, but I don't like some of the balance changes. Like the fights feel unnecessarily long for no reason. Underway into session. Why would I do that? Like, I tried it out. I did a stream. I did Grease's uh, SFO, and the fights just felt so long for no reason. Like, all of the units had shit tons of health, so ranged just didn't hit as good. Like, it just, I don't know, it felt weird. It, like, it it's good. Like, there's a lot of good things about it, but I do not like the health thing. Like, if I played it again, I would get rid of the uh, long battles. I would mod the, I would like tweak the settings that it allows you to change because uh, it got old it got pretty old with every fight taking like a super long time uh... motherfucker tried to weasel me out of a goddamn thing there for no money wait I'm at SFO and radius different oh okay yeah radius is different I was thinking of SFO I was thinking of SFO yeah, Radius is totally different, my bad. Radius uh, also does some similar shit though in terms of like the length of the battles and stuff like that. That's what everybody used to rave about it, uh, about it before, I remember that. You know, S, like the battles are too fast, everything routes in like one second, like... I understand that to a certain extent, but like in Warhammer 3 I think the battles are fine. Like, they don't feel too fast. And if they are super fast, it's usually because one side is way stronger which it should be decisive it shouldn't be like a grind every time radius still does increase uh, health a ton though yeah they both have the similar effect Ma making the fights longer more realistic like le it makes it less i don't know speedy the boss do we just bum rush Wurz Egg? I feel like this is gonna give us a bad victory condition. Eric with have Oh man, dude. Maybe we just try it? What about now? Ah, oh, we lose one double silver one? Because he's got less health. Son of a bitch. He's got the Baleful Mask. We have the Cauldron of the Great Maw though. And better spells. And Thunder Charge and Gluttony because we're within the camp borders. I think we can do it. I think this is doable. More realistic. I mean, like, slower fights. You know what I mean? Like, maybe realistic. Yeah, realistic is not the right word. But I mean, like, faster 
fights are less desirable for for more historical players. I personally like the longer battles, but yes, some battles are a slog to get through. Yeah, exactly. And if you're playing, dude, playing against Nurgle in that mod too was a pain in the ass. They were so strong. That, that, that may be how they are in the lore and shit, but it was not fun to fight against. That's for sure. Dragged out more of a grind. Exactly, exactly. Dude, more maps with this CA, please. This is so cool. Imagine if you had artillery on here. How fucking cool would that be? All of the maps right here. You set up like a blockade on the left side. There's water here. You set like a blockade up here. Make this all impassable. This whole ridge line completely impassable. And bam, you have like a... Ah, oh, dude. More of this, please. I, do we just rush him? I don't even... Ugh. The, the abundance of range is going to kind of mess this up. There are reinforcements are coming in in six seconds because they're a wog. Bro, I don't even know. Maybe... Okay, what about this? Bait them out. God damn it. Bait them out fully and then just hold them like... Oh, they didn't move. Pull them over here and then get around them to the range units. Pull them through the water a little bit. Slow them down. Bro, they have so many go- I'm, I'm actually like- Goblin archers are so much more dangerous than everything else. Oh, how is the, uh... I, I upped the bit rate, by the way, guys, to like 9,500. Because that's what it was recommending I do for 2K uh, resolution streaming. Does the stream, the stream seem a lot more stable? I haven't seen anybody mention it. I'm assuming it's like way better. Oh, this nasty water. Seems good. Looks pretty good, champ. Try zooming in. There you go. What the fuck was that? Oh, the hunters, right. <laughs> I forget hunters are ranged sometimes. I just use them as male. And they found all my dudes. This is. I fuck with them going wide. Fuck! Dude, oh my god, I hate when the eye go wide. They go wide so much. I know they're the green skins and everything, but. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, it, like, totally. I'm just gonna keep moving. Because they're, they're coming in with the range, they got like goblin archers and shit like that. Okay, we need as many kills with Scrag as possible, too. Uh, God, okay, we need to get his kills up with some spells. Keep moving, 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 keep moving. No stopping, no stopping, please. Fuck! Come on! You're fucking ogres! How do you have no mass? Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. God fucking damn it, dude. Fuck. I'm not. F God, fuck! That's so annoying. I'm just gonna leave him in the fucking trees. Fuck it. Best way to counter wide is focus damage in one place, preferably one plant, uh, flank. Collapse it and then close the finish. The problem is they... Well, maybe they went... No, because they'll still go wide, right? So maybe we all go like right... Okay, okay. How about this? How about this? Go... I'm also gonna split these guys up because swapping to cast is annoying. Trees like this. Pull them in like here. And then collapse on them. Or maybe just even just leave Scrag there. No, because they'll commit all of their dudes to uh to fight otherwise. How about that? How about that? A little bit better cover. This is Legend of Total War, and today we have a disaster battle sent in by my friend. <laughs> ah. He would win this with absolutely no problem, though. I mean, I could have probably won that 
fight right there, but uh, it's just annoying to lose two units to just like me being stupid and leaving my units in the wrong place, you know? All right. We need kills with Scraggy Boy though. Go for the meat, bro. Hit him in the meat. Don't spread out, just scoop all the orcs into one spot and smash them with big spells. Yeah, but, okay, the problem is, though, that this army is very susceptible to missile damage. They have no missile resistance, and they have 27 armor, so goblin archers are the end of this army. They, just, they will just delete it. Are they just gonna camp? So you're just gonna camp? Oh no, okay, they were farming up to, ru to run wide. Okay. Okay. The flanking attacks that'll win the day. That's what I'm saying. Like, if we pull them back to like here, you know? Pull them back to like the corner of the map. Oh, that's the border right there. Oh. Yeah, bottleneck them into like this little choke point kind of deal. The fuck? Fort wall indestructible? Huh? I seek the fuck? Weird. That's I guess it's that's these. Yeah, weird, interesting, but okay. Lamau, the terrain is coded as a wall? Yeah, I guess. It'd be amazing Scrag, if you clicked on it slower. and Str Scrag had like a bath. <laughs> he just, he gets in this and has like a chill ass bath. These look comfy as fuck. They're like hot springs. Imagine you just have a mid battle bath. Fuck, they're going to discover my army going that way. God damn it, dude. Look how wide they're going. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Yeah, okay. I'm going to. Okay, here's the, here's the plan. I want to get him into this little choke point here, because the, the chokier we get them, the better. Ow. The choke pointier this is, the better. They don't even know how to react to this. God damn it. You know what? Shoot spells at this, huh? Shoot spells at me now, with my big tree in the way. You won't. Big F for big wide front. Now we still got big wide fronts. The green skins are severely lacking on big wide fronts. God, this is a lot to deal with. It's all spread out and shit. Are they actually there? I can't. I know that I feel like there's definitely gonna be units there and they're just gonna fucking see all my shit. No? No, good. Cool. But. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna stop fast warning. Master Seeker, get up the hill, get up the hill, get up the hill. Get up the hill. Okay, my prerogative is just gonna be like focusing on their ranged. Okay, now might be a good time to, to push up though. I don't go. How difficult do you think it would be for them to make trees get destroyed by things like spells and artillery? Uh, probably not super hard, but that would be a great thing for them to implement. I see people asking about that, and I, I totally agree. I think that would be a great addition. That and spells being able to destroy walls and do damage to walls, depending on the spell, depending on the spell. Oh, what the fuck is he doing there? What the fuck? Find in the trial. Honey, oh my god, he's fucking stuck. Are you fucking Seeking kidding me? So I oh, okay, no, he's fine. I thought he was stuck. <laughs> the more, come on. I was like, fuck, man. Okay, slow him down. Uh, breath spell. Uh, cast in there. That is way more damage than I thought it would be. Fuck yeah! Archer's dead. 
Good, 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 Alright, focus down these guys in the trees. Wait, who's on low? This Gorger unit. For some reason, that one got, like, fucked up. And now we collapse on them a little bit. They're all coming in, and we just gotta focus on casting spells. Miscast base chance, huge. Leadership buff. Slap on a tooth cracker, too. Finish up these two units of archers. He's low on health. Ah, these guys are getting healed. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This isn't going too bad, though. It's not going too bad. That's not great. I hate single entity buffs, dude. Uh, wait, fist. Okay, one overcast fist right in the middle. Slice the meat. Okay, oh, they oh, okay, too many units to get damage too quick to really. The uh, more, it, it's the archers on. that are fucking me here. Like the melee can can handle it. Another toothcracker. Slap region on one of the units that have 12 models. Get them back up. Oh, oh boy. Folks have this. What do you mean? Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh. 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 Not cool, dude. Not cool. Can we just pull out? Can we pull back? Because of these bits of trees. Voice. Of the oh, I thought that lagged out. I was about to get so pissed. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This is the perfect opportunity, actually. You're dead. Oh, that's going to be so satisfying and cool looking. You just wait, motherfuckers. Oh, shit. And it rebound, dude. That's a cool ass spell. I don't give a shit what people say. That's a cool ass spell. Forever insatiable. Uh, I'm literally just gonna put these on the range because we got the melee fight. They're doing good. Relentless hunger. All right. Go, 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 get in there. The oh, boy. Go, go, bo, bo, bo. Dude, regen for these guys has been great. God mass request. Fuck it, one big, big ass overcast fisty. Here we go! Oh! How many kills are we up to? 1,043! <laughs> oh shit! That's without- that's why I don't ever get the mole. Come on boys. On those range, on those range, on the range, get on the range. Fuck everything else. Everything else, just the range. Okay, and we're good. Butcher. Uh, he's got a troll that's down on the guy. Go down on the other one. Nice. Get over here. Go, 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 go. You bitch. We get scragged through the lines. Maybe one last fisty. The more command. Hey, Okoy, is the Gorgia still strong after the nerf? They're fine. They, uh, yeah, they're better than I remember. Uh, I'll be honest, they're better than I remember. They haven't received any buffs since 
in, in, a, in a while. I, I just, you have to play very tactically with them because they're very vulnerable to ranged fire. Like, very, very vulnerable. But yeah, they're still decent. They're not bad. With regen, they're about 10 times better, though, I will say. Because of, uh, Scrag's Cauldron no, thing. Uh, like, they, they're, they're 150 weapon strength right now, and they have regen. So, Cauldron of the Great Maw is giving them 0.20% healing per second. And armor de uh, we weapon damage and armor. They're so much better yes, with that on. More. Without it, they're sort of mid. The screaming hunger. Get him. Get him. Oh fuck, I wasn't cycling my, my hunter abilities either. Oh fuck, he's fast. 94 fucking speed? Tracker! With <laughs> Killer. Wait, does he have the speed buff? I just realized how fast he is. 71 speed on that bad boy. Voice of the moon. Oh, he's about to get fucked. All prey is doomed. Uh, fuck it. The more that walks. The fact that that's reusable, the trickster shot's reusable, actually makes it kind of good. I like it. They aren't an amazing doom stack, but using them, using a few of them to flank, they are great. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. As a full army, they're not great because they have huge, the quarry you know, issues. Is mine. Scourge of beasts. Can I just the turn this guy hunter. in the opposite way? Still, I you used to be able to do that. Yeah, you can just, you can just turn him in the wrong, in the other direction, so you're guaranteed to be able to kill him. Like he's like, oh fuck, hunters, and now he's retreating this way. <laughs> Probably that still works. He ain't getting away. We're getting away. Worst Zag? Worst Zag? Did the projectile attack on one of these guys? Oh, no, no. That's the other thing. Let's watch him die. Oh! I know for a fact he's not dead. You gonna kill him or are you just gonna walk into him very lazily? Oh shit! Oh, he's not dead. Stalker of prey. Oh! You dead? Nope, he's not dead. Jesus Christ, where's Egg? Get bullied already. Oh fuck, there he goes. No, what? Are you kidding me? He has 95 health. What is this? Come on, Scrag. If he's not dead. God damn it, finally. What the hell? What on earth? Decisive victory, baby. We didn't lose a single unit. We only t took 13 losses against that both stacks. We got over a thousand. <laughs> 1057 kills, 56,000 value and 3800 gold value. My boy a beast. I don't quite. Is it a mod that you use to have the abilities displayed like that? What abilities? I don't use a mod for abilities or display or anything. That's all normal. I'm gonna take the replant. We don't need money that much. Oh, you're not getting away, man. That's just not acceptable. Oh, wait, we just got stone horns for our boys, too. Or one of our boys. That's huge. That's actually huge. We have a stone horn. Fuck yeah. Oh. I'm actually gonna go Crippling Blow. I never use Crippling Blow. Three more uh, levels up and this guy gets a stone horn too. Solid. Based and solid. I bring ah, extra ingredients, there we go. Extra ingredients is amazing. So goddamn good. Uh more kills for Scragola would be great. 
Um. Yeah. Some more, more magic. It will bring you me. I'll eat a dick game. Come on. We will not falter more. Here we go. All right. Your ravenous children are a good fight. I don't care. When are you gonna stream Warhammer Return of Reckoning? Oh shit! Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Yeah, like I forgot a lot of the stream ideas that I was thinking of. I was, yeah. Maybe I'll look into that soon, cause that that would be a fun thing to do for a stream. Like everybody gets it ahead of time, and then we all just like jump in on the same server, make a bunch of goblins or some shit. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. If, it, if, uh, if people don't know what I'm talking about, there's a, there's a, a free-to-play Warhammer MMO called Warhammer Return of Reckoning. And I was thinking of, uh, like, streaming everybody jumping on and us making a giant army in the game on a PvP server or some shit. Because apparently the PvP for that game is fun. So I was thinking we just make, like, a bunch of goblins, smash through the quests in, like, giant groups. Ready? Sigma's and then we uh we just get super far in and we make like a zerg yes. like a literal wog we make like the great wog that's what i was thinking yeah all right wait and then... oh, okay okay uh, yeah fuck it we can upgrade Welcome. to a military alliance with these guys right. full military alliance we can see what they're doing we can see their units i, you? I think nope never mind no yep yeah we can take the realms augers I would 100% do that. Dude, plus it's a super old MMO, so like anybody can run it, so it doesn't like eliminate people who, do, who don't have like a good PC. Warhammer Online is boring. Oh, is it not good? I played it, I played it a little bit back in the day, um, like a couple of years ago when, when, uh, Wreck it, like the return of Reckoning first launched, because I never played it originally. I just didn't know it existed. Like, I just never caught wind of it. I was always a WoW player, or Guild Wars 2 kind of guy. Uh, but I don't really play, spend my time with MMOs anymore. Why am I online is boring to waste your time? Pale King, you've said that about the last like 50 games that have come up, man. Obviously, you're a hot guy to please. But, um, yeah, I'd still try it out. I think it would be fun just for the fact that we would have like shit tons of players together, right? Like, that's the fun thing. It doesn't matter if the gameplay isn't inherently amazing. We would, we would just have like a fuck ton of players together. Hopefully, like 50 dudes, you know? 50, 100 guys. Like, it'd be great. I mean, I, I mean, that's being, that's being very, you know, optimistic. We, but like, even if we get like 10, 20 dudes in, you know, that would be amazing. Like maybe I'm underestimating, maybe I'm overestimating, but like, I would love to see how many fellas we could get in. Master it could be a lot of fun. I love doing Zergs in games, dude. I know it's kind of an old thing that people don't really do anymore, but uh, I love the, like, I love getting people together in like huge... What about Bannerlord? Oh, I'll be going back to Bannerlord when they get a new map. So I'll be doing more Bannerlord Persistent Empires. And we can like take a castle and build army, build our army up and shit like that. We, uh, if you don't know what uh, Bannerlord Persistent Empires is, it's a persistent uh, world mod for Bannerlord that's been out for a while now. And it has some teething problems, but like generally it's fucking awesome when it works. But uh, the rules are slowly being changed and it's getting better and better. But uh, yeah, for a while it was pretty rough uh, rules wise you just kind of got fucked every time you got on and it was just controlled by a bunch of sweaty clans but i'll be going back to that when a new map gets added uh, same with a uh, warhammer uh, return of Re uh, return of reckoning i think that'd be a really fucking fun stream helps the hunger. worst case scenario like it, it it's not that fun you know what i mean the game is fun pve is six out of ten pvp is nine out of ten so you reach max level when you get stumped by super gear people it sounds like every pvp experience ever man um, but yeah, I, I'm still down for that. I'm a loot and occupy this time. I made that mistake. Take your busted ass city back, dwarves. What's it called again? Dwarves bag. Wait. There we go. Onward! Welcome, friends of the Dowie. Free right. 3K? Hell yeah. 
Did they not take this fucking Varenka Hills? You think they'd unify their, their damn province? Damn, where do we get another level up? Did I miss this or did I just not spend shit? Oh yeah, we did that second fight. Never mind. Duh. I'm just gonna max out walking lotto. The more Thank weapon with the magic we have. Thank you. you should get these at a lower level. Rank 20 for these? That's a really high level for, for hunters. For, an, for a hero, I mean. Challenge me? Actually, boss. I'm not gonna really give that much of a shit about the Monpen cages, because, like, the... We're on. We're doing genuinely very well, good stop till everything's with uh with with gorgers. They're way better than I thought they were. Wars chosen. Okay, we'll save money actually. All right, Edelkoi, why don't you get the gorgers summon? Uh, because we have a full army of them, and I think that Winds of Magic in general is more valuable than one more summonable unupgrade uh unchevroned unit of gorgers that are temporary. You know, like, they're not bad, it's just that, like, the Gorger Summon would have been super useful when we were in that blob fight, right? Because then I could have summoned them behind the enemy lines and ran them into the archers to chase them away, right? So there are uses for it, and I will get it. I'm just like, I, I just want more <laughs> wins of magic. He got a thousand kills last game, you know? Stop asking me to join the war with Clan Verbs! God, fuck! Get the Cauldron of the Maul to pip your Gorgers? Already got it, dude. Added that whole last fight. Oh shit, Zephbar have been killed. Okay, we could really no Who are these guys that we're with? Treat me with the respect I deserve oh. or die. Oh that's super weird. What the fuck? No trade agreements, no enemies, no military allies, and no defensive allies. So they were only at war with are the Zephbar dwarves? This night. Sigma will kinda weird. My coupon awaits. Oh, we don't have a treaty with these guys. Better to play TF2 than grind for 10 minutes of pleasure in Warhammer Online. I think that, it, dude, it's more about the community aesthetic, you know what I mean? Like, I just want to get a bunch of my boys together in the Warhammer universe. And also, it doesn't uh, exclude people that are too poor or have too bad of a PC to be able to play, like, Warhammer, for example. Like, anybody can download Return of Reckoning. It's totally free. And it's an MMO from, like, 2002. So it's, like, easy as fuck to run. It's, it's actually from like 2008 or 6 or some shit, but there, yeah, there you go. Still, I think that's a fun idea. Worst case scenario, it's not that fun, you know? But like, whatever, like, the stream is not that fun. But I think just for like the, the, the first two minutes of everybody spawning in on the freshly created goblin or orc, like, is worth it to me. And of course, you don't need to grind for RR, you can just hop into a PvP right away and be stupid and have fun. Exactly! And hopefully our numbers advantage will give us an actual advantage. That's why I want to join like a PvP server if there is one. I don't know how Return of Reckoning works, I don't remember. But that'd be a lot of fun, man. I'll look into that after the stream. That'd be great. I'll probably do a part two of this stream though. I want to go north and like, kill the vampire accounts too. Uh, Adokoi, do you have a do you have a Discord you would post that to? Uh, I will just probably launch the stream up, um, and then announce it as like as, you know like as the stream goes up. But I'll probably put up a, a YouTube community post, um, saying like, "Yo, I'm gonna be streaming Return of Reckoning, creating a bunch of goblins, and we're just gonna like create a huge wog. And if you wanna uh, get involved, it's free." Oh wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, dude! Kill the fucking rats, you useless ass dwarves! The rats are just teeing off on them and taking all their shit. Pools. Come on! I obey them all. The dwarves are becoming a laughing stock. It's like the opposite of Warhammer One. Literally a wog invasion by the warboss Orkoi. Orkoi, dude! I have to call my guy Orkoi. That's fucking great. <laughs> Orkoi, oh my god, I really hope that name's not taken. Somebody's gonna go be an asshole and go take it now, but like, if it's not taken, that would be fucking hilarious. 
Uh, almost made the same mistake again. Almost did it again. Get over here. Oh uh, boy. I really okay. Next, I 100%. I gotta, I gotta install that mod that you can just automatically play shit. Cause got ooh. Wait, Frenzy's better, right? What the fuck? Dude, that's so bad. Frenzy's just a better version of melee attack. Cause yeah, you get 10 melee attack even if you're like, your uh, leadership is lower than 50% of base. But this also gives you damage, charge bonus, immunity to psychology. Why the fuck would anybody get brawler guts over that? That's an unfortunate matchup. Wait, can I give that to? Oh, never mind. Storm, 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 storms. Right. All here are honored dwarfkin. Stone. Oh, there it is. A great. Yeah, they, dude, <laughs> 312? <laughs> oh, fuck. Dude, we are homied up with the what? dwarves. My god. Oh! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Gelt. Fuck yeah, Gelt. Cool, Gelt. Yes. Hell yeah! Dude, we're getting buddied up with Geld no. now! We're going from... up to 10? Damn, we gotta do some, some stuff for Geld. How about we just give Geld all of uh, the Vampire Count's territory? We can take Grenstedt, give it to Geld. Take Schwarzhaven, give it to Geld. We can take Karag Dramar, give it to Geld. We can take all of this area and just make Geld a fucking powerhouse in the north. That'll be part two of this, is like going north and helping Gelt become like an absolute powerhouse. Hell yeah. I'm not ending stream like like right now, but like, yeah. I don't know, I've been bumping Okoy's red bangers at the gym and at parties and my life has been better and people think I'm cool. Thank you, thank you, great taste, man. <laughs> Dude, you're welcome. It's a, it's a, a fat set. It's a good set of, set of tracks. I'm glad you like it. Oh, get fucking smoked, bitch! Oh, that's some attrition, though. That's some attrition, though. Wow. Ow. Yowchies. Adokoi, will you stream your playthrough of the Elder Ring DLC? Fuck yes, I will do that, dude. Oh my god, Frank, that's so cool of you to bring up, dude. Um, I am definitely, definitely going to stream my, my thing, and I want to play it with you guys. So I want to launch the DLC. I'm probably not going to get early access because I'm not partnered with, um, you know, Capcom or whatever the fuck, like, uh, FromSoft. Like, I have no affiliations with them at all. I would love to because I my vi the best performing videos on my channel are all of the Elder Ring videos that I made. They all have over a mil almost. They have under, just under or over a mil. Um, and like the only video that's even close that's um, Warhammer related is uh, Lead Belchers that recently hit one mil. So dude, yes, I will be playing the fuck. I love Elden Ring. I will be playing the fuck out of the DLC when it drops, and I'll be streaming it and I'll be summoning as many of you guys as possible to help me help me uh, fight bosses and explore and stuff. And and uh, we can discover items for me to make trio uh, more trio builds on, because that is some of the most fun I've ever had making videos, is uh, making those Elden Ring videos. Has the DLC been announced yet? I haven't been watching Elden Ring. Yes, it's announced. It's probably going to be out in like a couple of months from now, like maybe six months. People are saying end of 2023. Also, the PvP is fun too. All I play is the PvP, dude. PvE is amazing. I love the PvP. I'm, I've been a huge fan of Elden Ring and Dark Souls PvP since Dark Souls 2. Uh, I've played a fuck ton of it. Man, what do I even take? Wait. Uh, Yeah, I will be absolutely playing the hell out of that. All right, I'll buy the Gojron slot. We'll get Whirling Blade Stumps, Toothy Noblars. Uh, I'm running out of shits again now. Is it worth getting the Maw and also Bone Crusher? From my experience, Bone Crusher is better. It does drastically more damage. No, it doesn't. There's less damage. But it has higher armor piercing. I'll get both. Fuck it. I can serve you back. Great I don't call it. The algorithm has been working for you lately. Uh, you've been showing up in my recommendation a ton recently. Oh, dude, awesome. Yeah, I sometimes my sh like for, I've been pretty lucky with um with that sort of stuff. I know a lot of people have trouble with their uh, videos getting recommended, but mine get recommended decently. I've never really had a problem with it.
Yeah, that that really popped off for stuff like um, the Elder Ring thing too. The mall costs so much. Yeah, dude, that's so true. It is mad expensive. But if you do a an overcast mall in the middle of a bunch of light armor guys, the radius is massive, and I've got like 600, 700 plus kills, like in one cast of the mall. Like, if you cast it in low low tier infantry, it's like a god tier spell. It's amazing. Uh, maybe we just buff the little our little nobbies. The cook master. Hell yeah. Has new more. It hungers. I miss the feastmaster orcs, dude. We could have had feastmaster homies down south. It would have been great. But no. So there's probably no point in me having these guys the right now. They're very great. expensive. No one fucker than me stays. Oh boy. Uh. Man, I don't want to have to go all the way down here and kill these guys, but they're orcs, and they're just gonna get so snowball strong. I hope they just don't miss. Because then once I wipe them out and they're done, we can go north immediately. I don't know, have you played Age of Wonders 4? And if so, would you recommend it? I have not. I have watched Turin played a little bit. It looks okay. The gameplay doesn't look that fun, but the customization looks great. Uh, I might try it out, maybe. They'll try and make you pay $60 for five hours. Wait, for what? Oh boy. Oh, we can put another camp. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna put one here. Fuck it. I'm gonna put one down south because that's probably a mistake, and if it gets destroyed, then whatever, but. We can build a bunch of camps in our allies' territory, and I think that's a decent plan. Bro, these guys take so much fucking attrition, though, in, in every goddamn fight. Like, I get it, oh, but fuck. Tyrant. I get it. I really do, but my god. My gut is Go low. just to have more power. I mean, uh, you can't. They will take that much damage if you do a fight, though. I no, because I've got regen. Whatever. Adokai, I love you. Uh, thank you, David. <laughs> I, can't, I can't openly reciprocate with somebody I don't know. Anyway, good luck, Okai. Give two weeks for your Warhammer Online bit. What do you mean? Like, give give it two weeks until I do it, or what do you mean? Soon. Oh shit! Rat no, deals I mean, deals with rats. Right? Yes. What? Nice. I know that the dude. I wish factions didn't give a shit if you made deals with other factions unless they were at war with them. Like, I get it, but also I don't like it. One rug. I'm like afraid Welcome to do deals with anybody because I know. What, what the fuck are they gonna do actually though? Yeah, past treaties with Clan Vern is minus four. Like, oh, that's gonna offset the plus 300. Shit, what was I gonna give them? I forgot. What's it called? Bitterstone. If 32. Dude, we're bleeding this man dry. He doesn't have enough money. He don't have All enough right. money. Must butcher. Oh, man. I fucked up not getting that hero thing. I wasn't expecting what? you to have heroes. I forgot that this guy spawns with a fucking oh, hunter. Boss, and that's that. Damn, max upgrade. Yeah, Throw fuck it. We can get a couple of iron blasters or something. From my experience, the lead belchers are better than iron blasters now. Dude told you he loves you. I mean, maybe if you, you could probably love the content, maybe. I hope that the Elder Ring DLC has more unique dungeons than the than the 100 uh, ulcerated tree spirits. Yeah, dude. I mean, they were a kind of a gimmick that goes around the um, the the cerulean tier things that you put in your flasks. Oh come on! I just had made a non-aggression pack with you, dicks. Fuck, man! I gotta stop doing non-aggression packs, dude. I swear to fuck, if my diplomacy's just tanked, I'm gonna be so pissed. Fuck!
Don't ally with the rats ever. I literally said that earlier in the fucking stream. Fuck. Fuck. My shit's gonna be fucked. I just know it. It's gonna be so bad. Oh my god. Oh, we're very high. Now, never mind. We're chill. Ready. We're chill. Um, I guess they don't give a fuck. I guess they don't give a fuck. Why are they fine with that? I literally said earlier in the stream that it was a bad idea for me to peace out with him, and I still did it. Ugh. Obey me! Foolish fool. They are me. Only me. Hey, double stone horn. And This army's getting very good now we're getting we're almost to the point where we're getting gold rank too so we're gonna get that missile resistance 15 percent missile resistance more weapon strength and melee attack this is getting close to doomstack levels like video doomstack levels of strength i don't know, in a warhammer 2 i regularly had 200 plus relationship with many factions who would just declare war whenever they felt like it yeah yeah good i guess that's comforting Maybe we get... Man, I don't know. Lightning strike, right? Thank you for this gift. My more. The more calls them for. Alright, just Akron left, and then I think they're fucked. They, they don't own... Oh shit, is he gonna... I swear he's gonna run over and take more time, I just know it. Wait, is this part of... Uh... Hell yeah, dude. Blood ground. Hell yeah. Hey! More meat for my grinder! Leader of I don't the call it live Gorge Doom stack? Nah, I mean, this is just what Scrag can use. This is just what Scrag's good at. Like, I already made the Gorge Doom stack, and I just, I didn't like it in in terms of a video, but... I don't know, maybe I could turn this into a video, but I, I want to do some Chaos Dwarf stuff first. As soon as uh, my OB, uh, my fucking shit stops crashing. It's like I did a bunch of work on the uh, on the blunderbuss video, 19 blunderbusses, and then my shit messed up. Uh -huh. All here are honored dwarfkin. Hell yeah, dude! This guy loves us. Oh my god. Fine. Fine. I could bother, right? Maybe I should stop giving him settlements. Like at a certain point, he has too much. Hell yeah, you can doomstack so many truck doomstacks, it's nuts. Yeah, man. They, they, they're, I mean, I think it's because they're overtuned for the, because of the DLC and everything right now. But, um... No, stop. I don't... No. Get out. Shoot. Maybe an alliance wouldn't be a terrible idea, though. It looks like, um, Clan Angrand or... Yeah, they're coming down and messing up the Pirates of Sartosa. How do they feel about us? M minus 110? Because of mil because of military actions against the border princes, past treaties with the powers of Sotos and the Broken Nose. Yikes. Maybe I should wipe out <laughs> maybe I should wipe out the border princes so that they hate me more, but then give them the border princes land and then they'll, they'll be like, chill with me. Hell yeah. The more decrees it. Of the great more. Wait, how do you tab through the- oh yeah, it's dots. What, what if I gave Ekron- would it be stupid if I gave Clan Anrund? Would they want- oh wait, wait, I can't give him Ekron. Never mind. I was like, maybe if I give him Ekron, right. <laughs> just All right in the middle of the, of the other dwarf's territory. Dwarfkin. What yes. would happen if you do that? Just gave a piece of land to like a different faction that they're not like a neutral faction. Just randomly give them Ekron or some bullshit. Oh, they're going to take Bitterstone Mine off them, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, man. Pain in the ass. Sermon. Do what I say. Ass 
Taste of the cleaver. Do we need to keep Gar now? At this point? Only the I'll leave him being chilling for a bit. Knows their worth. In charge. This means you can take it back with more R and get it's good stuff. I mean Wonder what I can recruit from uh, the ogre colonies. How do I? Can I not? What? Oh, what? Can't you recruit? Hold on. What? Can't you recruit shit from dwarves like? Get it done. When you're in when you're like in a settlement? I don't have um. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, dude. God, that was really embarrassing. <laughs> I played over a thousand hours in this game. Oh my god. I don't go away. Do you ever play Workshop Factions? Um, yeah, I recently played the. Oh, uh, what are they called? God damn it. Oh, fuck. What are they called? Um, I, I mentioned it literally in the stream. Uh,. The iron guy, the f <laughs> fuck, Gawk Iron Skin. Um, I I, mean, uh, I was playing the Gawk Iron Skin mod. He's super OP, like he's he's way over two. Um, but he's very fun. He's very very fun. Very well made DLC, I will say. Super well made DLC. Like well DLC mod, sorry, not DLC, but it basically it it is yeah. over quality, which makes it feel like a like a DLC. Like the model for the for the metal Ryan Ryan uh. Rhinox is crazy. It's really well done. Stop asking for rat genocide. Fuck. Wolf Spot with a ten dollar ten euro dono. Noob. How dare you, sir? How dare you come in here with this 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 face value truth? Thank you for the dono, Wolf Spot. Man, Wolf Spot the OG, the dono OG. Why win? I can oh, get, dude, awesome. I can get more uh, shit by giving it back to him again. Directive. One rock, all here. Could you, in Armin theory, like, uh, like, if you won at war with a faction, or like, could you, in theory, hide an army, let an AI take a settlement, Give it to a faction and then do it over and over again. Keep letting an AI take the settlement off them and then keep giving it back to them to just like get free 52. Yes. To get like free like 471. This may this is like some of the highest shit I've ever seen. My god. Wait, was that the god? God damn! Wolf's ball with 10 gifted memberships holy shit dude double using chat for wolf's ball thank you my dude holy shit he's all he, dude, wolf's ball's the fucking og man this guy's so generous thank you my dude much appreciated yeah double use for for wolf's ball in chat boys yeah especially if you if you got gifted a uh, a sub make sure you give him a thank you yeah thanks man w wolf's ball moment Uh, All right. Should I just take a? Who are they at war with? They're at war, uh, trading with Clan Angra. They're at war with the Parasitas. So is a. Uh, if I, I tell you what, if I defensive with them, Angra will like me more. And they already have a trade agreement with me. So fuck it. Right. Fuck it. We'll be defensive allies. Everybody likes the Border Princes, right? There you go. Treaties with the Border Princes. Ten. That wasn't worth it. Yeah, man, that, that was super generous. Thank you, Wolfspool. Full build an outpost in their one settlement. My rights. Dude, I've just realized every time you... I forgot every time you gift subs, it does a notification for each individual gift. <laughs> so it's just this goblin moaning. <laughs> oh my god. You're going to hear this goblin moan at least five more times. There it is. <laughs> oh no. I need to change that so it's not per dono, because that's really gross to constantly hear.
Okay, I think it stopped. Damn. Won't stop till everything's more. Uh, all right. It's vampire killing time. Wait, are they destroyed? Faction destroyed the blade hands. Fuck yeah. I don't know what's south. Dude, it looks like as well, all of this is defiled blood grounds, which means we don't need to worry about anybody except maybe the Harbinger guy. Gifts given to care. Yeah, they really don't like us, but that's fine. The dwarves can defend their shit. That's more money for them. Now we can just beeline up north. Speed, yes. Let's get up. Murder some vampires. Uh, maybe declaring war on the... What if we just give all of the rat stuff to them on the way through? Because they seem to be really struggling with clan verms. Uh, sorry. What do you guys think? Do we kill the rats? Like, at least take Iron Rock, Loserville, and Vranka Hills on our way up? Or do we, like, just leave them? Like, leave the rats? I'm boss, and that's that. Okay, destroyed by Tomb Kings. Five to ten turns. Hey! That's not gonna happen. Don't jinx it. They're nowhere near us. We're fine. Absolutely kill the Skaven. Yeah, I think that they're a con they're being a problem for the dwarves. So we could just delete them. Dwarves will betray you, not like loyal Skaven. Dude, if I if these fucking dwarves. Oh, nice. If the dwarves but like backstab us, I, I will be astonished. Like they we're like their sons. We're literally we're like family to these dwarves. We're like giant fat family. I refuse to believe that they would that they would throw away all of this and backstab us. Dude, imagine if um I had end term events on and it was the dwarf end time event and they automatically declared war on me. I would be so pissed. That's why I have that shit turned off. I would be so goddamn mad. Oh, fucking attrition, dude. One big fat family. Dwarfs and giants working together in harmony. Low shelf reachers and high shelf reachers working together. War, uh, dwarves aren't backstabbers, they're backstabbies. That's true, they're loyal as fuck. You can say one thing about dwarves, you can't say that they're not loyal. Thorgrim has a faction trait, so that it makes it that they're unlikely to break trees. Oh, like because he's like honorable? By my hammer, I should slay Reli you oh, reliable. Stand. What is agreed is set in stone. It is highly unlikely that this one will break a treaty or go back on a trade agreement. Nice. And holds grudges, not great. Isn't that the same for all dwarves, though? Yes. Yeah, reliable. It's all dwarves. Dwarves make good friends. They're good. They're good homies. What? Like, trade agreement wise. Can't trust no first. Skaven are always friends. <laughs> There's so much Skaven support, oh man. Skaven are literally in my top three favorite factions. Silver Kingdoms, and then uh, actually, you know, with the introduction of the Chaos Dwarves, like. I'm, I'm kind of struggling not to put them up there, you know, on a pedestal. Wait, are we at war with Clan Moors? Yeah, we are. Goddamn. Fuck it. They're already at war with them. They're just gonna like us more. It's always good, Loon Occupy. I feel like Clan Moors are just gonna dookie all over the chests of um, these guys, though. What about chores? Are they reliable? Yeah, I... Ooh, I have no idea. That's such a good... I doubt it, but maybe. Because they still... They're still dwarves, technically. They're just chaos. They're spicy dwarves, you know? They're, they're dwarves, but... I almost said they're like diet dwarves, but they're like... It's like, uh... Like super dwarves. Dwarves on steroids. Dwarves on many illicit substances. Shit, I'm running out of shit to... What do I go with? Uh, Sand your ground is always good. Master of meat. I do be loving meat. We got lightning strike. Toothcracker. There we go. No more. It will bring you meat. Oh, I made a mistake not getting that fucking thing. Oh, shit. All right. Beastmaster. Nope. Uh, bonus versus lodge five. Attribute immunity. Nope. Missile strength. Sneaky. Stalk. 
Forgot about that. Weapon strength, 15 charge bonus. Probably this, right? Missile strength and range. Although... No, fuck it. Stampede. Alright, moving on. Oh shit, wait, I need to give them the goddamn cell. Wait, maybe there's somebody else that I can give the settlement to. Maybe there's someone else around here that could benefit from it. What about if... Yes. Oh, what if I give it to these guys? To your ancestors. I could give it to the Azul Dwarfs, because it's technically in a separate province. Do they want it? No, I can't give it to them. God damn it, I forgot. Dude, I, I realize why that's in the game, but... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, shit, I won't be able to give anybody Iron Rock. It's not connected to anybody. Anad, welcome. Friends oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Gallery. What the fuck? Oh, because... Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Sweet, oh, sweet, wow. awesome, good, this cool, night. good. Yes. Let's just get up north and kill those vampires, right? I could bother right. You've been helping a free levels. Cauldron. Obey me. And between the the money we're getting My for battles, is this is a legitimately oh, a good campaign strat. <laughs> it's actually Sorry. great for the ogre kingdoms. This is unironically a genuinely. Uh, consistently good strat. Hungry. Always hungry. The boss. Okay. Rock and stone. Beastmen are underrated. Yeah, yeah, especially after the rework. Uh, the rework. They're genuinely very fun. You mean paid workers? <laughs> yes, more. Oh. oh, they're begging for peace, dude. Um, nah, <laughs> nah. Anyone wanna challenge me? I literally don't think there's this army strong enough to be able to take a, take out anything. But where are the beastmen? Sorry. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit, they're right here. I was like, why is it giving me a notification? It's because they're literally right here. They are me. I'm the me. Man, I'm sick of taking Loserville again, over and over again at this point. Hold on to your ding dang me. settlement, boys. Beast man. Okay, maybe we give away where's Loserville? To yeah, they're the only one I can give it to. Welcome, friends of the right. Dowie. Friends of the Dowie. Go on they then. fuck it, dude. Five hundred and thirty-eight. We could take over the whole. The we Empire. could do some like genuinely heinous shit at this point, and they would be totally fine with it. Wait, I discovered the Empire, and they like us. Wait. Is it time, friends? Yeah, of the boy, Empire. friends. Come let's fight. go. <laughs> Come fine. <laughs> He really salvage. likes us. Well, Dude, trading him with the high elves? Will be I hunt. I'm not gonna do, make any deals with the lame sisterhood still. Ah, right. oh, bro, we're getting all chummy with the with the uh, Empire. All the Empire simps in chat are going wild right now. All the friend simps are just wildin'. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Two, uh, max money, max uh, upkeep, reduction. Oh wait, that doesn't go up no by another. Can beat me. Biggest gut in the land. Money growth. Thingy. In charge. Uh. All right. Sweet. These fucking beastmen better not become a problem. Please. What the fuck? I, what the fuck? I've never in my life seen a relationship that high. It's all about <laughs> giving them all of your shit. <laughs> over and over and over. Ogre best friends. Man. The best part about this is we can just go in any direction and it's totally chill. And it's gonna be beneficial. It cools. Crack bone. Tear flesh. Get fucked. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? 
Come back here. Come back here. No! What the? Why? <laughs> because it's like, no, man. Are they going to take Eckendorf? Oh, fucking bring it. Oh, my God. Quarrelers? Two units of... Did they build their fucking thing in here? They did. I forgot. <laughs> bring it. Oh, my God. What a garrison. Bring oh it. And I have walls. Oh, that wouldn't be cool, though, if they attack this. That would be pretty bad and also not cool. Oh, nine? Oh, my God. Yes. Bruh. Yes. Oh, 16 for trappers. Wait. Oh. I have to. Uh, nice. So cheap, dude. Wait, did we achieve the uh, research thing yet? Oh, eight turns away from another 50% upkeep production. So they're going to be free. They're going to be completely free. That is insane. Of the I always forget that. If you get far enough down the, uh, the skill line for these guys, you can start uh, outfitting your camps with free Noblos. Right? It's amazing. Fuck it, we got plenty of money. Oh, damn it. Nice. Nublussy? No Ew. By Lord, just in case. Uh, they don't have the movement no, range. They can get to here and attack something. They're most likely going to retreat into Varenka Hills or try an underway away, in which case I'll catch them. Noblar snack stack? <laughs> snack stack is such a <laughs> depressing term. Oh. Uh, see, they're asking for peace. And I almost want to give it. But... I'm not going to, because then the dwarves will be mad. I don't want any angry dwarves. Nubby Noblos. Noblarmy. Oh, they died. I think they got killed. I genuinely- I think they fucking killed him. Nice. Wait, he'll- Oh, dude, he's gonna help us with this fight, too. That's fucking cool as hell. You know what would be a really good addition? Would be, um, if you're attacking a settlement like this and there's an allied army, there should be another option to automatically give them the city because they participated in the siege. You know what I mean? And then also it gives you like a bunch of uh, diplomatic bonuses because they're like, oh shit, we can have this? Are you sure? That would be nice. I'd like that. I know it's just like an extra thing that they don't need to do. It's just like there for convenience, but I would like that. Can I get missile resist? There you go. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Such butchery it promises. All right, it's vampire killing time almost. Of the great moor. Give him back that province. All here. What? Honored dwarfkin. Hell yeah, dwarfkin. Very well. Five hundred and sixty-four and improving. Trusted friends. I feel like wasn't there like Dark a thing scouts. where you could get it high what? enough? Wait, what? Sigma's will. We can not aggression packs with one of these roaming armies. That's cool as fuck. Greetings cool. on behalf of the Empire. Bro, if we could get if... with a sheathed blade. You know what would be cool as fuck? If these guys took a settlement, like the, the Gerhardt's mercenaries faction, and then you just Agreed. kept giving them territories, and they, like, loved you. you dare. Drain, hell yeah. More, hell yes, you hell yes. More alliances, quit. please. Uh, awesome, cool. Yes. Every single older type faction we come across fucking loves us, and I, it's amazing. It hungers. Let's get north and kill some vampires. Also, I think... They declared war on Gelt, because I think Gelt took over their territory. Restart the game I wasn't watching. Restart the stream! Go more against Crooked Moon. Uh... Yeah, fuck it. And of course, sell Noblar flashlight, flashlights to your allies. That is a fucked up sentence. I wish I hadn't read that. Thank you for that. 
Thank you for the uncomfortable feeling that I feel right now. Thank you. Lenric just wants us to kill them. Karakadrun wants us to take the high place. Border Princess wants us to take. I'm not gonna do any of that shit. I'm not gonna do any of that shit. There should be a thing where you can like what reshuffle them. Oh, like if you don't like any of these, there should be a thing down here that you click that says like like you, you know what i mean you can like reshuffle them and it'll give you three other because these are completely random if i restarted my turn these would be different if i restart if i reloaded the turn these would be completely different i sometimes do that to get the edge in an ogre kingdoms campaign because you can get one which is like randomly get one which is exactly where you're going to be going but most of the time they give you total crap oh wait do i have military access with these guys nice Hell yeah! Planning ahead! Smash or pass Noblar? I would say smash because of the big nose. Yeah. Yeah, i take that action. At, actually, I don't know, because there's a huge size difference, and I feel like you feel like a monster. <laughs> this would be like hamster eating a banana kind of scenario, you know? You know the meme. You all know the meme. Oh, that tyrant! Who can I boss around next? Ah, oh, so cheap, army, please. I honestly don't think I need the the bulls in here too. Oh, I think they're just unnecessarily expensive. Especially because these guys are going to be free in like six turns. Yep. In my honor. Yes. Who are these guys at war with then? Of the day Surely they're at war. Knees. Okay, so they're at war with Tabakland, War of the War, Golden words. Order, and Reichland. So I'm gonna get <laughs> homied up with all these factions. Hell yeah. Also, I could split territory too. I could give Oberstire to Reichland, and I can give all of this territory to uh to the Golden Order. I gotta get allied with him now. Hey, no aggression plaque with. Okay, I'm actually. I might take that action. Oh no, he's at war with everybody though. Oh, I do love me some Skaven, but. Ready. I'm good. Maybe if he starts. Oh, he's pretty good though. He might kill Angren. <laughs> he might actually wipe out Angren. If it could. Oh shit! I don't want to be at war with them though. They're actually pretty close to our territory. Ooh, it's nice to see Scryer not hiding in their settlement and being killed though. I man. want ground the punch fish oh, right. fuck. Oh my god. You scared the fuck out of me and it was so not worth hearing. <laughs> that is such a fucked up Zama Zemas Koani Legis Legalista. That's a name, goddamn. Fuck man, you scared the shit out of me. Thank you for the 25 PLN donor though, my guy. What is PLN? I'm gonna assume with your name, it's like Ukrainian or Russian or Bulgarian or Hungarian money or something. Thank you for the dono, my dude. That was that is a messed up dono. Cools. Okay. Oh, this is Vlad, and he's got some good shit. Surely we can auto that though. I feel like we're too strong at this point. Your allies. Okay, I'm gonna ask him. Yeah, he's not gonna not join us in war. Oh, he's running. That's a good sign. Ooh, but this fight is going to be way hotter now. Close victory, medium casualties. Pyrrhic victory, medium... Wait, what? Hold on. What? Didn't that say close? And then I and then I added meat and then it got worse? Is that just me? Should I just play this or do you think I should just auto it? What do you guys think? Play it for the hell of it or just... Get beamed on? Hey, I say that all the time. That's my thing that I say. What do you guys think? Play it? Oh, lightning strike? Oh, dude. Yeah, good idea. Butchery awaits. Butchery. Nice. It helps the hunger. Such insolence. Crap on. No. Come on. Oh, I'm so close. No, I don't want to take a. Wait, can I really not get back in? What? Wait. Oh, Come on! Uh, Alright, what if I give it away now, though? 
It is time. What if I... I trust our dealings will bear okay. fruit. Hey, dude. Friend. How about this? I give you Schwarzhafen, and you give me... Oh, baby! Dude, he fucking what? 69! Nice! Instant military alliance, 5,700 gold. Fine. Oh, boy! We got some guilt up in us now, huh? Nice! Dude, fuck yeah! We're uh, absolutely homied out with Gelt immediately, and we're still taking attrition. Why? Oh my god, that's so much attrition too. Can I get? Uh, can I get rid of that? <laughs> can I get somewhere safe? No hesitation. No rest. No. I will. Well, I, will. I guess I let's see will. if we get attacked. Scrag hard smash. Really? Do what I say. The more. Dude, imagine the handies, though. Imagine the handies. Imagine the pain. Uh... Fuck. What do I... Oh, man, what do I even get? Buster units I don't care about? No. It hungers. I wonder if, st if the stimulate growth... Do, um... Like, area of effect things apply for allies, or is it just for your own dudes? I, I don't think I've ever really thought about that. You get alliances so infrequently, I just forget that that's a thing. If you know what I mean? Like, so if... If I have the Mawtooth, right? Does this provide growth for allies, or just for you? Increase mobility Thank and... You, I already have now. mobility. Thank you, Master Butcher. Uh, I'll get the corruption thing then. I can serve you better, great more. What's his? What's uh his uh hometown? Tealdorf, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Obey me. I'll eat any challenger. Alliance with the Skaven to get that boof. <laughs> we could, yeah. I mean, maybe allying with the, uh, the Skaven would be a decent idea because Angren doesn't really what? like us anyway. It's improving, but he doesn't really like us. The problem is, I don't think I can ally with him because he's probably at war with the Border Sigma's Princes. Will. He's not at war with the Border Princes. But this guy probably really doesn't like Icket Claw. What will if I did all of this... I wish it would tell you who doesn't like it. Like, because it does that shit in, uh, in 3K. Ah, oh, fuck Fine. it. What? So? Oh! Yes. Dude. Now. Oh, dude, Reichland. They're so close to it. I mean, we want a defensive alliance? I kind of want a full on alliance with Reichland. Also. Oh, okay, next turn. <laughs> Don't do that lol. It's fine. It'll be fine. Worst case scenario. We're not allied with the with clan scryer. Okay yet Oh Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay Okay, baby man Fucking bitch ass flank little wiener boy Bring it. I have many allies Why is it liking you more? I don't know. He's a cool guy. He knows good shit when he sees it. The man can appreciate high fashion. Oh, he didn't even move. Oh, dude. Now this fight's gonna be way harder. Never mind. No! Oh, wait. I wasn't allied with the characters of Dwarves. Okay, so... It looks like Clan Moors and Clan, um... Uh... Clan... Rictus? Clan Rictus. Are, uh... I've occupied, like, this whole region. So that's kind of cool to see. The Skaven being like a major player is kind of cool to see. Ooh, Scryer might have just got messed up <laughs> by Clan Angrand. Yeah, they really don't like us now. No, wait, whoa, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treaties with Clan Scryer, negative 41. Ooh. Eee, okay. I'm not worried about the dwarves being upset with us. 
silent executioner. Yeah, I don't see. I don't know. He's right there. Science. Are they in with the border princes? I didn't check. I don't think they are. I think they're just like camping in their territory. No, they're not at war with them. Yeah, we're good. Because if they declare war on um, the border princes, I'm going to get dragged in and I'm going to lo <laughs> lose more goddamn. Boss. Ugh. Got it. Get ruined. Me. Medium. Uh. Well, now I have to play it. Well, now I have to play it. I'm not suffering medium casualties. That's gonna... And then we're gonna take attrition after the fight? Maybe this would be a good time to close out the, the stream. What do you guys think? Do, does this need a part two? What do you guys think? I think this is a good showing. I might just focus on... Uh, on David's and maybe do that, uh, you know, Age of Reckoning stream or some shit next time. What do you think? Does this need a part two or what do you think? 24 hour stream? Oh my god, I would die. I haven't even eaten today. Part two, please. More Oka stream equal good? Yeah, I would, there would still be more streams, but it would be, okay. It's like, do a, a part two of this and we just, you know, take over more territory and shit. Or do other stuff on the next streams. Like, what would you rather see? Like, um... Uh, you ain't eating yet, bro? It's like 10 p.m. Yeah, 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 but I like stay up super super late and I get up super late Like I got up at like 1 p.m. Today, which is earlier than usual. Like that's the that's what I'm talking about like Getting up earlier and stuff, you know? Oh wait, they don't have range. I don't need to camp in the trees I'm just gonna make my, my dudes worse for no reason Never streams again <laughs> What is the other things you speak of? Uh, so I, an Age of Reckoning stream, uh, no, uh, Return of Reckoning stream for uh, for Warhammer Online, where where I, I like announce it in community chat, and then we just get like a shit ton of people in. Um, I join like a PvP server on this Warhammer free to play Warhammer MMO, and then we just like make like a huge wog with the green skins, because that's the only playable faction that's in my top three. You can't play Skaven, can't play Ogres. Uh, so green skin's the next best thing. Master Predator. Yeah, I'll see how I feel. We'll play it by ear. What's our winds of magic? 97 in reserve, 1 in 90. Not bad. What they got? Corpse caught, bale fire, unholy lodestone. That's not super cool. Grave God, Grave God. Are they gonna move if I do this? Are they gonna move like little wieners if I do this? Nope. Can I just stand here and launch shit at him? Oh, he's got Sylvanian crossbowman, right? Oh shit! That's wild, I totally forgot about that. I don't like Sylvanian crossbowman. The least they could do with Sylvanian crossbowman is make him look like... ...vampiric, you know what I mean? There's no way Sylvanian crossbowmen in the lore are just dudes with crossbows. Right? Is that, is that a thing? Let's take out can wraiths and like one pooch. Oh, they didn't actually do that much. How much are these costing me per full? Oh, oh, eight. Okay, that's fine. That's super cheap. Extra ingredients. All right, let's attack the left side of the faction and just run the fuck in. Oh, they're running. They're pushing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, you don't. Alright, go, 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 Get right through the lines. That's what you got that mask for, boy. Get him straight on the Vlad. Uh, miscast chance on your boy. Wrapping around pretty big. Scrag, we just need kills with Scrag. That's the big thing right now. Kills with Scrag. More kills with Scrag than we get. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I fucking knew it. Eat shit, Sylvanian Crossbowman. Eat shit. Oh, Scrag's getting fucked up. Oh, shit. Where the more asked, 
Oh no, you don't. Where's the meat? The slaughter are fine. Get into the blob fights. Get out of there. Oh fuck! Wait, who has magical attacks? Fucking no one. The slaughter. Uh, fuck blob. Oh boy. And Scrag getting messed up though a little bit here. Dragging the cauldron. Greg, Vlad hungers for Fat Boy. Yeah, apparently. Goddamn. I know that Vlad is strong. The tracker. Tracker. Maybe we should target the Cold Scots. Jump attack. Ooh, we're taking some damage. Okay, that'd be good. Massacre would be huge. Fuck yeah. Okay. His last not really taking any. Oh no! Fucking archers, dude! God damn it! Not good. 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 Give me troll guts. Give me troll guts. Okay, we gotta get up to butcher, otherwise Squad's gonna take some fucking hits. Hunter, I will. The more, come on. Scraggy, get out of there, bud. Troll guts. Heal yourself. And this. To double heal. The Easy clap. In my sight. Nothing can escape. Gorgeous are doing great. The regen is Seven is huge. The Honestly, more. the regen is fucking Butcher huge. Them. We can get Vlad to crumble. This is easy. I seek. Relentless hunger. Yes, great more. We could really do with something to take out powerful single entities because Craig is. He's okay in melee. He's not that good. Ah, oh, he's going down. He's crumbling. Solid. Rokan got one minute while saying his name. What do you mean? Oh, Scrag? Okay, they butcher. A lot of lords can't though. You you click on them and they start just saying their own name. It's like when somebody does an impression of somebody. You know what I mean? They just start saying. They just start saying, "Oh, I'm this this person." Like people don't say that. <laughs> It's kind of weird if you think about it that they just announced their own title, their own name. The more that walks, where the more. God, Scrag's regen is fucking insane. How many is he getting? Blood Drinker. He's getting. Oh, that's it. Blood Drinker, and then he gets uh, another combat one, right? Oh, he's disintegrating like a little bitch. No! <laughs> Good stuff. Did they just get passive regen? Or is it like in combat? I forget. Whatever. Why have the Chad? Oh, they had Sylvania crossbowmen still retreating, so I could have put heals on my dudes, actually. I, Okoi, decree that people don't say their name often. I, I never say my name. Thank you. What would I say if you, if I was a literary lord and you clicked on me? Like, fuck? <laughs> like, angrily saying fuck? Mercy. Move. 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 Scrap. Eh. You know what? I'll sit here for a turn, get my shit back. Oh, they're sieging Aberheim from. Wait, who took Aberheim? I guess no one. Master oh, we got the moot. The grant. I, I, dude, I was just thinking, what if there's a unique building there? Spices, resource production. Tw I've never seen this before. Spice. Dude, this has to be near where Golgfag Maneater starts. You literally get a unit of Maneaters with Iron Fists and a unit of Lead Belchers.
plus five growth from all provinces, plus four control, wine, uh, re wine and spice resource production, and minus four corruption. That's fucking cool. The halflings, diminutive stature masks a ravenous appetite, and as you might expect, highly developed culinary skills. As such, their cauldrons uh, bubble day, uh, day and night. Dude, I kind of want to keep this place now. <laughs> That's oh, it's just dude, it's one province. Okay, I'm just gonna keep the mood. I'm just gonna keep it. Fuck it. We're allowed to keep some provinces. It's its own dude. They're deaf. They're a one hundred percent. They're gonna add in the halflings, right? Like. This is a solo province called the Mootland. Like, this is going to be uh, the, its own thing. It has to be. The Hothlings are, have got to be their own faction eventually. I think they're going to be a surprise DLC. I would be happy to see the Hothlings. I think they, they will be an adorable and very unique faction. Smiley face. It would be cool if they had, like, a diplomatic uh, bonus, like, with the Ogre Kingdoms, too. For the wisdom. The because the ogre kingdoms obviously like them, kinda. Tyrant of the tribe. Oh shit! Did I miss a dono? Fuck. No, no, no! I saw it. Sebastian piece with a five dollar, uh, five pound dono. A Brit bong. What up, my guy? Uh, smiley face. <laughs> Thanks you for the dono, my dude. Smiley face. Uh, right back at you. Look, what do I buy? I hate it when you get to this point. We just start running out of shit. Thank you for this gift, my more. Uh, yeah, I want to hold on to the mood. I think. Wound recovery time. Dude, that sucks ass. What? Minus four wound recovery time? Cool. I think you should get um, Isabella's defeat trait if you uh, if you kill Vlad as well. Like they should have the same defeat trait because you know with the, the with the other one being a hero, because you're not guaranteed to get them as a hero in the army. The AI might move them out of the army, they might die and then have to respawn, and then the AI is not going to think to put them back in the same army. Like, like I should have got two defeat traits there, but they don't have Isabella in the army. You should get. Isabella's defeat trait for, for killing uh, Vlad as well as Vlad's and vice versa Like because they're a, they're like a duo like fuck it you get the same thing they're a hero anyway. Why not? Do we delete one of the gorges and recruit the um the sky striders just for some flavor? Yeah, I think it'd be cool to have some mobility the great moor beckons. The moor. My coupon awaits. Uh, hell, dude. It helps the hunger. Hell yeah. <laughs> I couldn't fit it, but it's somehow kind of funny. Funnier. Oh, that is by far my favorite vampire account in all honesty, dude. He is nothing compared to Ghost. Like Ghost went from like oh, I used to think like I used to like how Ghost like I've always liked how Ghost looked, so I've looked oh my god. So I've always been disappointed by him being terrible. But when he got that rework, I was so fucking pumped. My buddies and I love your stuff in Rajono. I keep it up, brother Mario Gipano. Oh my god. Sebastian de Pierce. Oh, in stuff in Rotua. Uh, my buddies and I love your stuff in Rot. Rot. Rotorua? Where is that? Is it like a Polynesian island or something? Shit? Or like a, an island where they speak. Uh, they have pounds? It's probably something that the UK colonized, that's for sure. Uh, thanks for the dono, my dude. Maria Tipono. Man, I'm not sure. I am bad. I mean, actually, I'm not too bad at geography. It's a chaos realm. <laughs> this man donoing from a chaos realm. Oh. Join war against Aguilon. Nah. Adokoi, it's in New Zealand. Oh, interesting. I mean, I was, I was almost right when I said Polynesian Island. Feed the 
Vlad ruined the stream? <laughs> what do you mean? Why did Vlad ruin the stream? It hungers. Okay, let's take over Shrythe. Gimme, 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 gimme. Do occupy. And then... Wait, what? Oh, they... Wait. Reichland Confederated Tabba Clan. I do not know where Tabba Clan is. Oh my god, the Empire are popping off. Holy shit! They've almost completely wiped out Festus. They're like stretching all the way up into the middle of the edge. So they're not doing too. No, they're doing good. What strength rank are they? Well, they're about to be military allies with us when we give them this fucking town. Where are they at? Uh, Reichland. So, Diplomacy. Peace, for that is all I ever want. Trade agreement. Or Oba's right. Yes. Military alliance, baby, and a little bit of money. Not that great, but, you know, I sort will. of underwhelming. That's cool. Fuck yeah, dude. Improving 167. Darkness comes. Oh, man. We've discovered all these factions. You know I will take an unaggression effect with Beston. What? World Walkers. Yeah. Fuck Choose it. Yeah, why not? Carefully. Done and done. I hunt. Oh, the Fakonides. So Oh, the countries are not at war with the Empire. Except for Nordland. Eh, I'll hold off. Lord of Athaloran. Oh, dude, wait, why are the Wiredroth guys at war with... Oh, <laughs> it's trade agreements, that's not at war. I was like, why is this guy at war with all the other Wood Elves? Yes. Oops. Yes. More heads oh, the heads. lag. Oh boy, the lag, oh boy. Yeah, he's doing pretty good, though. He owns a lot of territory up in here. Biggest guy in the land. Uh. I'll get tyrant. Man, I gotta get rid of the delay on some of these menus. It cools. My mom is my mother is British and my Tama is Maori. Dude, Tama is a fucking I'm sure it's not pronounced like that. That's a cool ass name for his dad though. Empire always does well in my games. Don't often go to the borders, but reliably control like 90% of it by turn 50. Really? From all the campaigns that I've been doing, they just kind of bum around Reichland, kind of getting slapped around by other factions. And they stretch up a little bit north, but the Fecundities sort of push them back. And like, the Chaos have been doing way better in this patch, from my experience. Way better. Maybe that's just me, though. Or like, I've just been getting those campaigns. Or maybe it changes depending on the faction that you're playing as. Uh, I know that there's like hidden values where... There's kind of like, to make it perform differently each time. I kind of wish they would do that though. You know, if you play as like, it gives random handicaps to certain factions sometimes. Just to really mix up a campaign. Like some minor factions will get like huge bonuses like, uh, so that they perform better and stuff. Stupid fucking vampiric attrition, god damn it. Can I build another camp? As soon as I get a little of the camp, I should put it in the moot. The moot camp. Uh, can I put one in... Jesus Christ, they own so many territories. Can I not put one in Reichland? Altdorf? Okay. Ogre settings. And of course, I understand if you don't want to be bothered with that, but what are your graphic settings? Oh, yeah, sure, you can see. Yeah, I go fuck. Uh, I'm on 2K, uh, blood effects, custom, 50 brightness, and then like medium on stuff that isn't important, high on others, and then ultra on the shit that's important. So like VFX detail, unit detail, you know, whatever, SSAO on, like dismemberment cloth, all that kind of shit. I turned sharpening off, I used to have that on. Uh, I have borders turned off. 
Hey, I see my T8, 8 T8. Oh my god. 3080 Ti. Yeah. I'm thinking of turning down the blood though, because it. I, I started noticing it not on any units. Oh my god, they're rating me for a lot. <laughs> Wait, that guy's name's great. Duck Luck Orc Spanker. <laughs> when is, since when has Orc Spanker been like a name? That's a 10 out of 10 name right there. This way, they serve, or they'll be served. I don't think we're making enough money to build up a second army, to be honest. Emissary of the war, tyrant. The butchery is complete. Hey, okay. How are you, my friend? I'm good, man. I'm good, my dude. It's been a fun stream. This went way better than I thought it would. That's I'll say that. Oh, all right, bring it. Wait, your ally declares war on the fecundities. Okay, yeah, sure. I think everybody's gonna like that. Adokoi, camp stop all attrition damage from lands. De uh, deleting on and placing as you move is strong as fuck. Yeah, 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 that's true, that's true, that's true, that's true. I always forget about that. Like, uh... Ooh, I want that building. I want that unique building right there. Yeah, growth. Yeah, cool. Temple up. Oh, medium casualties? Fuck it. Butchery we'll just hold the settlement for a turn. Butchery. Bang stick. Wait, isn't that like a... Doesn't that do a cool thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah Okay, I want that. It's better than half of the other goddamn casting on. items. Like, the trickster shot is fine, but, but like, this actually does something. I'm gonna combine these trickster shots, actually. Scroll of leeching. See, that's another one where it's like, eh. I'm like, eh. It's fine. Crown of command. Fuck! I hate the crown of command. I hit the Crown of Command so much, I'm just gonna salvage it. <laughs> I hate it, dude. It's so bad. Oh, I hate the Crown of Command. It's so goddamn bad. Please remove it, CA. Re like, or rework it. It's such a minute part of the game. But man, my god, is it so bad. It's never good. Prove me wrong. Crown of... Crown of, crown of trash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should just make it like makes the unit unbreakable. Like and make it a green make it like a blue item and make it make the unit permanently unbreakable. Like fuck it. Like that's not that OP. It's fun. Like, fuck it. Uh I don't know. Scratch should have a melee buff line. Promises. Ooh. Oh shit, yeah, our food's getting kind of low. When can we get another camp? Whoops. How much we can put another camp down? Uh, Eight turns? Two for this, six for that, eight turns. Alright, that's not too bad. You dare. Valley three. Sigma's... Soon. What are the victory conditions for this faction actually? Win the meat battle, destroy the border princes. Oh no! <laughs> and occupy, loot, sack, or raise 30 different settlements. Oh no, man! We're allied with the people we need to destroy. Fuck! Oh, that's so stupid. How the fuck is this long campaign victories? I was supposed to take 75 settlements and own Wei Jin and Nan Gao. Can you port? Okay, these are copy pasted from the from the fucking. What are these objectives, man? What? These need reworking. Holy shit. The short campaign victory is reasonable. We could totally do that too. Like, but we'd have to start taking territories. Oh wait, wait, isn't that through alliances too? Oh, no, no. Loot, raise, sack. Okay, awesome. Cool. So we don't even have to own the territories. We just need to destroy the border princes, keep taking shit, and we could literally we could get the um, short victory in, like, no time. My Maybe this would make a part two. A good part two thing. Two potter. The great command. 
Are gold just still OP even after the patch? Or are they reasonable now? No, they're balanced now. I would say that they're balanced. Like, I'd say that they're a little bit underpowered. Like, they're a little bit too squishy. Uh oh. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually fucking seriously declaring war on a faction that's next to me and not you? You dicks. You fucking. They're dead. Never mind. <laughs> sweet. Okay, cool. Never mind. Okay. Compl uh, complaints rendered. All right. Sweet. Yep. Never mind. Go on. Short. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. When I look at this one. Oh, Malagor, you douche, dude. Oh, Malagor, you little wiener boy. Get out of here. Shit, did I say short campaign goal? It's, uh, fuck, I mean, I mean small campaign goal. Wait, construction complete. Fuck, that's a lot of shit in one turn. In the book? Now, come on. I didn't mean to say that. Come on. I didn't mean short. Small, yeah, small. You can say small, they, they're not offended by small. <laughs> Come on, they never said anything is better than just small. It's, it's fine. Wait, can I give, oh, what if I give these guys the territory? Do they give a shit? Do they give a shit? Hold on. Marienberger been destroyed. Wait, causes terror. Demon killer scars. That sucks ass. What? Wait. That's. How is that a green item? That's just. Causes terror. So that's just a worse version of the terrifying mask of E, because you cause fear and terror. Right? Or is it better to just cause terror? That seems worse to me. That is not even good. That just seems like a slightly worse version of the mask of E. Set item? Oh, what's the set? That's a good point. Oh, oh! Blood Cleaver. Melee attack plus 10 when fighting against Demons of Chaos. Bonus versus life plus 12. For I totally forgot that set bonuses existed. Shit, dude. More set bonuses, please, game. Set bonuses. See, there you go. If the Crown of Command had a set bonus with another thing that then gave you Unbreakable, then it would be good. Maybe it does have that. I'm going to check that. What did I do with it? Oh, I sold it. <laughs> I trashed it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, we'll never know. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't have anything. That would be a good way to make the Crown of Command good if you combine it with a very easily accessible other weapon. Your ravenous or, or like uh, another away. item. It makes your uh, guy have uh, Unbreakable permanently as a set bonus. Master That'd be totally Master. worth it. Wait, tools of... Okay, hold on. The what building do you need to, to recruit? As new uh... Man. Hold on. What's the building for... Okay, I don't think we need this. I don't think it's... Oh, fuck, it's this building. God damn it. Because scrap launchers with 50% off is insane. Oh, Do we have the research yet? One more turn. God! Give me my 50... Give me my free nobbies already, oh, man. I want to see if our economy takes a boom. Because, like, even... The, like, these guys are cheap as fuck. They're 27, 15 per, but, like, our economy should go by, like, 800. Do... The tree people... Give a shit. Are they allied with anyone? Ooh, they're trading. Okay, so do they give a shit about owning Eshin? Not really. Not really, but they like it a little bit. Oh, sh God damn it. Uh, where are they at? Where are they at? Reichland. The Empire. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Oh my god, the lag, dude. Oh. Temple off. Nice, nice, yes. good, yes. Good shit. Sweet. Oh my god, okay. This is actually... Oh, there she is. Nice. You still get a defeat trait for... Wait. Do you still get a defeat trait if you kill a legendary hero? If you kill her as a legendary hero? Or, or is her defeat trait not in the game anymore? I will. I'm actually curious. 
I need to build a goddamn camp. I should have built a camp up here. That was stupid. The What's the radius? Oh, I could get down to Schwarzhofen, maybe. Lag has been making me... Dude, I tried playing Attila again recently. I just randomly had, like, yes. felt like I wanted to do, like, an Ellen's campaign or some or some shit in uh, Attila. The campaign map, you get, like, fuck it. I'm on a 3080 Ti on an i9-12K, and I'm still getting, like, it lags. The campaign map lags like shit in Attila. What happened? What did they do? I don't remember it being that bad, but it's so bad. It cools. It doesn't happen in Rome, too. You have to kill the faction before the ultimate crisis, then she becomes a lord at Okoi. Oh. That sucks. Much longer, so. Join war against Torg. Yeah, fuck it, whatever. Let's make the Empire happy, because they're massive. Camp at Moot? Yeah. Putting up another camp at the Moot would be cool. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, 4,700 per no turn, boy. How cheap are they, are, they, are they for this guy? 61 per unit for throwing weapon noblers. Hell yeah, dude. Gonna be over time and one day. Are, we, are they free God. now? Fuck yeah, dude. Zero upkeep per turn, baby. Might as well delete these guys. Just get no complete Noblo Trappers. Might as well. Get I love shot. free Noblos. That's so satisfying. Me or <laughs> it's dinner. so fucking satisfying, dude. Bus. Every camp is just easy as fuck Leader to defend. Hell yeah. Adokoi likes making massive things happy. Dude, you know it. You know it, baby. Six turns versus 14 turns versus that's it. Yeah, it literally has to be big migration. For us, for all of us. I'll eat this I love this chat. Dude, I have the world. best chat. I have the most based chat. The great See, I'm brown nose in my own chat now. <laughs> the more sends all right. Me. I don't think there's much more we can do at this point. Maybe I'll do a part two, maybe not. I'll see how we're feeling. This was pretty fucking fun, but like, we're allied with the Empire, we're allied with the, um, with the Golden Order, we're allied with the Dwarves. We've basically facilitated an Order Tide on turn 57, and we're right in the middle of it, and everybody loves us, and our economy's ridiculous. We have a full army. This obviously works. This is why I love the Ogres. So many flexible playstyles, dude. But yeah, I think it's pretty late now. It's it's 10. I still haven't made food. I'm uh, I'm gonna have a grumpy girlfriend for sure. <laughs> I hope she doesn't mind. But yeah, uh, uh, super fun campaign. I love doing uh, interesting campaign ideas like this. And I love, rem always remember, you can give away settlements and campaigns for huge diplomatic bonuses in this game. Like you can like ally with the dwarves as the chaos dwarves. You know what I mean? Like, you can do the opposite of what the game, the aversion wants you to do. Girlfriend I call BS. Hey, hey, hey. She's, I've been with her since before I had this channel, buddy. Hey, buddy. You can play Warhammer. You can be a Warhammer YouTuber and be, have a girlfriend or be married, okay? There's plenty of content creators that are married. Or, or dating. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, True Neutral gives you a lot of flexibility. You could have done the same thing with Chaos. Exactly. That's what I mean. I was on 50-50. Like, do I, uh, do I, like, ally with, like, green skins and Chaos and maybe, like, go up and, and, and like, ally with, um, Scarbrand and then have Scarbrand just take over everything? I was, like, 50-50 everything. But, like, because, yeah, because he would get super strong if he owned more settlements. But because of his skulls thing, it sets him back. So if you gift it, you know what I mean? There's plenty of ways we could have done this. I just, like, these guys were closer. The dwarves were homies. Like... I just thought it'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'll do an Age of Reckoning stream probably next, depending on if it all works out and stuff, but I think that'd be a lot of fun. So if you feel like getting involved, it's fucking free, dude. The game's free. The download's free. It's probably easy to download. I think they have their own launcher. Fuck it. Jump in. Join the WOG. I think it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, fuck.
uh been a lot of fun thanks for the donos thanks for the support thanks for watching i'll try and get some more videos out soon i've been procrastinating in between that and uh, obs crashing and wyma 3 crashing constantly it's been a bit of a hit in the ass you know what i mean i lost like two hours of progress on the on the uh the blunderbuss video the 19 blunderbusses video so it kind of uh, took the wind out of my sails but we'll get back to it anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll uh, see you on the next stream